and we're back. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> the energy is there. The energy is there. <laughs> All right, we're here for another week episode. We got the crew back and a very special guest. To my left, we have the main man, Deli. Yep. To the left after him, we got the bald headed Dominican. And to the far left, special guest, boss woman, Miss Natalie Rodriguez. Before we start this podcast, oh, I said shit. I had an announcement. Can I get a round of applause? Round of applause, round of applause, okay. The BBC community followed me. Yeah, hold on. That's, that's valid, right? <sighs> squatty, squatty, you know? The gym workout video has been working out for me and stuff, you know, so it's good. Wow. No, that's not the announcement. The announcement is, I seen one of my old friends, baby mamas, you know, I love the baby mamas, give Jimmy with the freckles a chance. Round of applause for Jimmy with the freckles. Jimmy. Shout out to you. And are they together? Wait, are they working out? Is it, is it, she looks is happy? Good? She has a baby mama, like she has a baby with someone else, and then she's with Jimmy with the freckles I know, now. but does she look more happy? Yeah, she's married and everything. So Jimmy with the freckles is cleaning up someone else's Jimmy, mess. Jimmy with the freckles, but he had his own kid too, so. Okay, there you go. So happy two baby mama, maybe daddies and whatever, but she has an announcement or a secret or a... I don't know. Oh, oh she, does, she doesn't want to say announce Yeah, it. she doesn't. Yeah, hey, I don't know. What is it? Uh, open. Oh no! I I brought you guys something. Oh. She brought us something. Okay. Uh, very nice, and said bring cups because I don't know what that means. But well, because AJ, uh, for those that have been listening to your podcast and just listen to AJ in general, he is like Nuestra's honorary employee. Uh, he's like a spokesperson <laughs> for Nuestra because he be going hard. People swear he's on payroll. I almost yeah. did put him on payroll. Because, you you know, yeah, you had to. You so I know he was heartbroken that we closed, mm. and I know he was probably gonna be hungover because yesterday he came in the morning. Heartbroken is special in the world. For all you guys to share, or you may end up needing a plate at some point. But this coquito French toast here, Ooh. it's a big So we need a cup, but we didn't need plates? No, I didn't tell you. Because if I told you you need a plate, uh. then you guys would have known I had food inside there, too. But no, um, so it's Sunday. So we can't not have Sunday without mimosas. Oh. oh. Yeah, I mimosas. I and thought I it was Sunday. Mimosas. You can't so. have Sunday without going to church. I thought we were going to go to the next store together. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to say Well, okay, you Sunday. can't have brunch without mimosas. How would that That's be? right. You can't have a brunch time spot podcast Tell you what. It's a hit That's every fine. time. And if you missed it, if you missed it, you missed it. Hangover, hung, hangover, hungover, down there. Ooh, I like the vibe. Yeah, I want to crack like some stuff. And oh, 100 percent. But can we? While we cracking, can we conversate? I have a question. You said uh, this is. Go first. No. No. Oh, okay. Now, this, what is not, question? This, this is with Jimmy with the freckles. Oh, Jimmy with the freckles. Yeah. yeah. So. You know. Round of applause one more time for Jimmy with the freckles. No, no. Because no, why does it take so long for women to finally realize that the good guy is the way to go? Mm. Women. Um, the good guys, Jimmy with the freckles. Wait, but why does that mean? Wait, I don't. But I don't know Jimmy with the freckles. It don't have to be Jimmy with the freckles. Jimmy with the is always like his name's not Jimmy. He's he's Jimmy to us. Yeah, but explain. Oh, okay. but explain. In our hearts, you have to explain what Jimmy the freckles symbolizes. It's okay, like yeah, it's like it's like the not flag guy, maybe the overlooked guy, the really nice guy. The, uh, okay, but did they have a chance like before? Like, did they meet or did they just meet no, now? The friend zone, dude, no, no, they no. friend zone them, friend zone them, and then and then usually after a the few guy, bad yeah, the relationships was, or think, a few kids, they want to go back to Jimmy with the freckles. You know that guy is like he's husband material, but I'm not ready, so I'm gonna go keep going out and having fun and enjoying more life until I'm husband material, and then you lost a chance because he's husband material to someone else. That one. That the explanation? And, and, and with that, did, did you have a Jimmy with the freckles in your life? <laughs> no, I'm just... Ooh. So, okay, Everyone so... Everyone has a Jimmy with the freckles. I'll say no. <laughs> so, no comment. But um, <laughs> oh, so I think that, you know, I think... The, the, so you need a friend zone person though so I don't think that it serves its purpose when they do have that friend zone person because maybe they really weren't attracted to that person. Like, they could be really dope people. Like, I've... They could be, you could have a really dope person that you could see yourself with but maybe they're not actually attracted to them and then maybe it comes after i don't know but i i i could see you being like not physically i couldn't be with somebody i wasn't physically attracted to so that would be but some people me. are attracted to like chains and gucci shirts and uh-huh. pants and they could be the same guys just they're not wearing that just wearing white tees and shorts you know yeah so well like, i was gonna say have you ever experienced somebody that you may have not initially been attracted to and then after maybe vibing and like the personality really like overpowered the Years. the looks. Wait, repeat that. No, you've like, never had that happen. Uh, no, I mean, I've maybe, the vibes don't apply to no, the looks. You said? I mean, no, what the I'm saying is, is so somebody cool that you met like, that you may have not initially been attracted to, but you know, after chilling, kicking it, whatever the vibes were, the vibes were good, and then you kind of low key became physically attracted to them. 
N- no. No, you never experienced that? No. I mean, maybe I've experienced like that I would become more attracted to the person because of the personality-wise, but still never to take it to that level because I was not physically I feel. I feel like it's like the opposite for the guys. Like, I feel like once we're like in high school, like middle school, we always want that bad bitch. The one that's like, you know... Even sometimes like that. I don't think so. I disagree. You don't you don't disagree? Like no. the guys and then after like I feel like once we're like in our twenties, we're like, yo, we're looking for the the boss woman. Uh yeah, no. I'll take that. I think cause some guys well, some I guys never that. grow up. A lot of people's cases. Some guys never grow up. Like yeah. they still with the like the hood rat crazy lady, like yeah, nah, you see it. I you see it for me, ratchet is like a turn some people off. live out there. I like myself a little crazy. That's yeah, the crazy. normal, like, casual... So what's a little crazy guy? that you're like, damn, I like that? Huh, like, you know, looking through the phone crazy, you know, like, why are you outside? You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, wait, who's that guy that just saw... He was on a podcast the other day, uh, and he was talking to the girl. He was talking to the girl, and he was like, she's like, are you are you trying to hit on me? And he said, and he replies back to her, he was like, he was like, no, you're not my type. She's oh, like, what is the, it? Uh, what funny is Marco. Type? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Funny oh, yeah, Marco. Yeah, yeah, with the, he was yeah. like, what is your type? And he was <laughs> like, oh, I like big mama, pat in the head. He was like, oh, she cheated on me. Where my, my baby daddy? Where my baby daddy? He's like, plus, you don't even know who Tupac is. And you have to actually watch more than just that clip. Because there's a whole it's, episode. It's, it's the white girl, too. That's now awkward. You know who you're talking about? That podcast? No, no, I've seen it. With the awkward white girl. and him. Whoever put them together. Hilarious. Hilarious. But he's like, yeah. Where my baby daddy type girls that, you know, tap their head. head and, you know, this, this, and that. Yo, he went crazy. Like, it was like a minute long about And that. he had the straightest face saying it, so he didn't he even crack it. a smile at all. Rough. That's how he does it every single time. <laughs> yeah, so I'm wrong for that comment? Jimmy for the Freckles? No, for, like, uh, the guys. You like crazy bitches? Early? No, yeah, I, feel like, I, I, feel like, I feel like when you're, when you're younger, I feel like guys really don't care. They're not really looking. I mean, they you subconsciously, like, think you're looking for a relationship, but I think they're fighting... Someone like just attractive enough to fuck. I just feel like women when wait wait till they're a little older to finally be like, yo, like, all right, I need to find me myself a good guy. Jimmy with the freckles. Oh. <laughs> Jimmy with the freckles. You need Jimmy with the freckles. But uh, can we start the podcast with the ladies' uh, question of the night? I don't morning. Have... The just... fucking morning. Anybody it's, any questions? It's afternoon. No, no. I mean, you know what I was I was trying to think. I've had a long week. I've had a very long talk week. Talk about some long week. Ask so, us about our long week. How was your long week? Is, is it only women's long week that we're no, supposed to be? No, oh, I'm supposed long. to go first, and you expected that I had a long week. Okay. So what, what kind of questions do you have about long week and? Okay, work? I got one. I got one. I got one. Stress. Because the only thing that I've been able to like not pay attention. Well, the only thing I've been able, actually involved in paying attention to, and it's so crazy. But like six nine and Yailin. Oh, okay. opinions because I'm obsessed. Right I didn't now. know who she was. I, I'm so I think, obsessed with this whole like I'm obsessed. I'm actually starting to become a fan. You know who of that who? is? Of who? Of, of uh, both, both of them. them? So, I'm a six nine fan. I think part of it. I feel like she's an opportunist and he's a master opportunist. Oh, easy. But so I think you that have two genuine, oper- though. No. You think so? You don't think so? Not I think no. Them. I think that they're having fun. I think that they're I, really enjoying each other's company. I low key. I feel the same way. Six I nine. think it might have started off as it I was gonna say. Started up, yes. It like, could have started oh, off, Mark, because she even dyed her whole hair his color. Was like rainbow. Well, that was just a wig. Oh, his is a wig too. Uh, well, Remember he went to jail. He had to cut it. But uh, fucking, I, I think it may have started off as like marketing. You know, it was marketing. Shit. And then I think, like she's saying, they might low key like really be vibing and having. A good, they're like around the same age too. Isn't she young? She's gonna be twenty one. Did you know who she was before that? I, well, no, not before Unwin. Uh, just like with Unwin. Yeah, yeah, Unwell put her on the scene. Oh, that's on. Un- that's that's, Unwell. Unwell. that's who he left yeah, Carol G yeah. for, yeah. which yeah, was dumb because and Carol G is. A, I hated her for like, I really She's a 20 out of 10. Her. And I am becoming a fan. Of the song, the music, or just her? her just her. Her general. BBL does not fit her body. No, she kind of she kind of has this. She's real flaquita. But like. What I didn't realize is. how young she is. She's gonna be 21 this week because yeah. he had posted something. Because like I said, I'm involved now. So you saw the post that uh, Noelle did. So she like brought six nine to see her grandma, and Noelle was like, Damn, "Oh, and she's." You told me your grandma was dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> was that a meme though? Was that no, 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 no. He, he commented tweeted, under it. Yeah. Under like it was like Latin world star seven. Took a picture with her. <laughs> I seen that. I'm telling you, I've been, I've been watching this whole. Story and he's such a troll yeah. that six no, nine is the type to know your ex told you her grandma's dead. Guess who I'm meeting. Like, like he's that guy. Like, yeah. uh, I can't stand him sometimes. I, I feel really like, he's, yeah, but I, he, he, I feel like he's a likable guy. Though. Even though, as much as you yeah. can't stand him, he'll do something. He just did. Like, he did what it took together. As a matter of fact, we were just having this conversation before the camera roll. I'm gonna ask that. Do you feel, in order to get ahead, to get rich, I'm talking about a certain level of rich, 
that you have to do at least something, one thing or more illegal to get there? Mm, we were talking about that. Like a, like a like high level, someone's always done something dirty to get. To it doesn't that have spot. to be illegal. Yeah. Yeah. When you, like, when I don't you, think somebody. necessarily illegal. Or I shady. Except you have to finesse a little bit. I feel like I top. mean, there's always because or you you just. But if you think about like, there's a lot of figuring it out though. Like when think, you're trying to, get to your top, top, you gotta figure it out. So I think figuring it out whether it's legal. Think about or, your I mean, top five richest people that you you would know, right? And then think about their history or rumors that have popped and stuff. You're probably like, oh shit, like some of them are, are products dude. of their environment though too. Though like some of the illegal stuff. So like look at Jay Z. Like look what he built. But like he was a hustler, but because he didn't have a choice though. In the beginning. I mean, everyone kind of has a choice. I but, mean, that already. And, has and my, my thing about it is, my thing about it is, Please. and I love. Jay Z, I'm not even necessarily talking about him selling drugs to get the money to fund his, his stuff. I'm more so oof. sprinkle, sprinkle. That looks fire, bro. I, what is I, sprinkle, sprinkle? Or did you just say that because you were sprinkling? I said, well, my kitchen in the kitchen. Facts. Well, no, I seen it on TikTok. No, it, Wendy did. That's a girl oh, thing. Oh yeah, that's a. It, it did was, you just say that for fun? I said it because we say it in the kitchen. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But like okay. a girl code. Do you know what it means or no? No. Okay. That's okay. probably some Gen Z shit. I, yeah. I definitely am not hip to like a bunch of like. We aren't either. Yeah, but we either. I'd be like, my kids be saying stuff, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> cap. You don't know what cap is? No, I do. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. You just, an example? They're, I, they're, like, I like to like, throw words just out So it. somebody said. Like, that's not even how you use the word, mom. Somebody, <laughs> somebody said something the other day. It was an old head, and he was like, yo, uh, I'm rolling. And, oh, yeah. And, and, I looked, and I looked at him, and I was like, we're like playing dominoes, and I'm like, I didn't see no weed around, and I'm like, rolling what? E. See, you're an old head because Damn. I did Damn. not know. No? Look at you! I didn't know either. Know you didn't know either. Yeah. When somebody, when our generation when says I'm rolling, he said it here. I thought he meant he was out. He's like, yo, I'm rolling. I said, oh, all right, bro. Be easy. No, because it would be roll up. I don't know what it is. Yeah, rolling, but rolling, like, rolling up. Like. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling. Like, for me, if I hear somebody say that, I'm thinking they're rolling. I mean, like, I didn't think that anybody still did anything like that, but so it's like, yeah. I would be like, what? But, I, you know. That's crazy. I didn't know. And I'm like, wow. It's so crazy how the. Is that a norm? The generation. Generation of ages, of people's ages? No, older than me. No, I'm older than him. How old are you? gonna do this on camera oh. I'm, off, I'm, off, I'm, off. I'm saying you're older AJ, than me AJ's age group, no I'm, you know? I'm 39 exactly you're in AJ's age that's damn near almost a decade older bro. than me you're in your 30s right I just oh, turned alright all right, first of all are you I'm, 20, to say I'm, she's 40? I'm she's 29 not 40 with experience I'm not 40 she's not 40s she's in your 30s your 30s still all right? almost a decade older than me that's yeah. a big difference I still got 3 years you're bro if you think about it think I about when AJ was in diapers oh facts facts I'm older than if you think about it even 3 to 5 years it may not seem like a huge age difference when you're like babies, but you have you you have a cousin that maybe you're like 13 and that cousin's 10, and then you really separate, like it's not until you get older. Like that makes a huge difference. I think five years, five years, and thing it does make when you get older, it doesn't make such a difference, or whatever. But I think that at, at, there is that age gap. There is like certain things that are, you're like, uh, like my brothers are like my brothers five years old, younger than me, and my other brother seven years younger than me. I got a, I got a question. I got a question. See a lot what's, of things. Like what's, what's the oldest? What's the youngest you're going mm. when it comes to dating? That's my favorite question. Ooh. <laughs> um, the oldest? I, honestly, I don't know. Um, I think in my, I think in the past, um, I've gone as old as ten years older than me. Okay. But would you go as old as ten years older than you nah. now? I don't know. Sixty? Oh. No. Get sixty. Oh. Yeah. 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 In the fifties. Yeah. 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 Nah, you that's said twenty. Nah. That's twenty years. Nah, but I'm asking. Nah, you, you know what you asked. You know you asked. I know you guys are gonna do that. I'm asking. She's if in her thirties. No, I'm asking no. if you would date no. more than six. I think I, I, mean, honestly, I don't even know how you did. I knew you I guys realize that. I knew you, you were crazy guys were gonna that. do that. You, yeah. Yeah. you at least said fifty. That would have way better. You said six. Think, that's twenty. I think, bro. I'm asking if you would date a sixty-year-old. Cause you I, said I, I don't know. Probably wouldn't. You see? No. So fifty. Even yeah. if he looked good, body go crazy. Some people, can but no. But the thing, no. It's not even about like the looks or whatever. But like you, what? Like what can you actually like? I don't know. I don't get it. Like, what can you actually what? We want to hear that. What can you actually what? What can you actually like have in common? Like, you know, oh. like I, when you're vibing out to certain music or whatever, and I'm like, you know, rapping to my '90s rap or whatever, but you want to, you know, sing, you know, Tina Turner. Like, it, like what? Do, what do? You know, how is that? What's Tina Turner. I mean, 
wait a minute, time out, because I sing whatever. Like, I love all kinds of music. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I feel what you're saying. You put the radio on for me, and I'm singing, like, whatever song. He's like, probably, okay, run, he's listening to, like, Run DMC. All right. But so, we went, we. We went, touched. I go as high as 10 years. Okay, we touched up. What about, what about as low? Yeah. Five. Five. I feel like that's my cap because I, I honestly like I couldn't like, yeah. So you wouldn't go, uh, let's say a twenty-four year old that Hell just graduated no. college. No, absolutely not. Really, twenty-four? Oh. That's that's young. What about no, but he just got, just college, got a good head on well, his shoulders. Twenty-four is mad young. What about thirty-year-old that just opened his own business and you see a nice individual that's getting his life together? Still no, too young. No, because still don't want somebody getting their life together. Like you want somebody who got their life. No, he locked in his business. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you got he was spending his twenties getting now. He's yeah. like 29, you know, 30. How about, how about love? Like, We're nah. talking about relationship. Do you think oh. love is really blinded? I love you. Love you too, buddy. Ooh, the like in what sense? Facts. Hand me one, DJ. Like, yeah, facts. Pass one too, brother. Man, I started much. And I was like, yeah. I seen him. He's like, oh, it's really good. Yeah, eye- it's really good, guys. <laughs> Let me not share any. I've been eyeballing oh, that shit. Oh, it's baking too. It's, um, love really blind. Like, uh, say you fall in. First, do you have a type? So I had this discussion Everyone the other day. I don't. No, I don't. I don't think I have a type. I don't have a type because Everyone if you put a type. if you put a lineup of like anybody like that I've like been or I'm attracted it's to, all like different. they're all different. The only thing that I can say that. If I, Literally, the only thing I can pinpoint is the eye structure. Like somebody who has like eyes like that are like pointy, and so like I don't. It's more like the like the the, like the eyes that kind of go down just a tiny bit. Like do you go by eyes? No, I don't. But the only yeah, thing I can find in common in any of the like eyes is that who who has somebody famous that has eyes like whatever you're describing. Drake. Is it? Does he? I don't know because I want to put. The I mean, pictures. Drake is fine, but probably so. Yeah. Drake. Drake has eyes like that. Come on, man. I'll tell you right now. See, just so okay. good. Oh, Drake Asito? Drake Asito? No one has a picture of Drake Asito in their mind right now? Um, oh. I can't think of his eyes, but I think oh, that they're probably like that. I'm telling you. So eyes, eyes, eyes matter? Okay, no, no. I, okay, I'm not saying I look for that. I'm no, just no. saying that what I have in That's common. That's the only thing her exes or people she's with have in common okay. is that. Yeah. So they're not Asian. So she yeah. doesn't realize that. Like, she's like, oh, I, I don't have a type because. Like, because Drake all look and Homeo Santos don't look alike, and I think they're both fine. So they're not Asian? What? <laughs> what? Whoa. No. Actually, now no. Okay. Why are you saying what? Like, that's not a valid No, question. not Asia. He says, I don't know how you say the... Um, nah, I get what you're saying. In Spanish, actually, now, like, yeah. That's shit, fire. That's fire. fire. No, for if you missed, you missed. You I'm sorry. If you missed, if you didn't get the chance, you missed. Just, you missed. Brunch on Sundays. Psst. You missed. You'll never know. Listen, we were talking about it a little earlier, and I missed the question, the time frame that I was supposed to toss the question. But are we attracted to someone who plays hard to get, or are we attracted to someone who doesn't have time for us? Big difference. Neither. Yeah. We're not attracted to people that don't give us attention, and you're like, oh my God, she didn't text me for like 12 hours? I think someone in the middle, bro, to be honest. Not, yeah. No. Not Maybe when you're I younger, agree. it's you got that kind of, like, first of all, I'm older now. I'm tired. We know. I got time. I ain't got time to be well, chasing you around. You either, yeah, but, you either going to... You're either going to play the game or you're not going to play the game. This is what it is. Like, what I'm saying. Bro, I'm not chasing nobody. I don't got time for that shit, bro. I'm not chasing nobody. So, no, if you're show, if you're playing hard to get, then I'm going to play hard to keep because I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and. Is that a bar? <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> Send that and, to Jake Azito. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you are too busy, then. Because I, I firmly believe, like, yeah, people are busy, but you make time for what you want to make time for. Exactly. People, people I mean, always check the, the phone. The word busy is, should not be in anybody's vocabulary. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't get how people are, uh, those people that believe, like, oh, he's too busy to text me, or, like, they don't text you for, like, yeah, no. eight plus hours. Nobody's ever too busy or not looking at their phone 100%. for that long. So. And I'm going to tell you right now. And if people, you are, you're weird. Yeah, but the people, too busy conversation also comes with, like, the gym and stuff like that. Because too busy, you're, like... Watching Netflix. That's not busy, bro. No. Too busy, like whatever. Maybe you're working, like playing working, video you can't games be on your phone. Okay. Yeah, that's valid. But playing video games and, Net- and Netflix at the end of the night is not too busy. Too busy is your own personal standard because what's too busy for me mm-hmm. might be different for what's too busy for you. So we what's also too busy for you. So like for me, if I'm seeing you and talking to you, I'm gonna cut them off. Two three days out the week. 
then okay no but see this is where this is where people like, like when you say you're not too busy so one thing i've been trying to learn and work on myself is what are my standards and what i feel is correct are not what other people's standards are and what others are correct we've all been taught differently and we've all grown up differently so i'm still a work in progress but for somebody who may say they really didn't have the time maybe they really didn't have the time maybe they don't have the capacity for to one even day, handle maybe. Well, but maybe they're stressed out and stuff, too. Maybe they just can't. Like, there's days that I don't even answer. Like, I mean, if you look at my phone, I probably have, like, 200 unseen, un, like, unopened messages. But I, it's, like, I hate notifications. maybe you just, you know, didn't have the time or you didn't, you really, you really didn't have the time to answer at that moment. And then you forgot and whatever you kept on and there's, you're just really that busy. But then but being able to be understanding of that person's stuff, because, yes, no, you, you can't be too busy to just text somebody, like, real quick or whatever. But we were not all raised the same, so we don't all... I hear I you, but same. you said, okay, so you say you have 200, but that's it's okay. That's o- see what it is. No, 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 I know, but that's okay. If, notifications? Yeah, okay. that's okay, but it's okay to leave whatever the other. Yeah, I can't do that. It's 336. So, okay, so leave that's the other right. one. <laughs> Hold on. It's okay to leave the other 199 and don't reply, you know, because they don't really matter. But if me and you have something going on, I would expect you to at least text me, hey, today or this week mm-hmm. has been crazy. Let me know. You know yeah. Oh saying? yeah, yeah. Not leave me in the dark. Like yeah, if I yeah. call you, yeah. pick up. Well, I'm no, not, not saying not that. I, I no, wouldn't, I'm I saying would, that. Yeah. Oh, if, oh. I call you, if you call me, I'm saying that. I'm saying that. You, you ignore call, me all week, but if you call me, I pick up. Mm. That's what you're saying? No, 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 not me. Not me. You no, say no, you're saying, busy all week. No, I'm saying you're ignoring me, but I call you, and like you need to pick up. Okay, so if you call, okay, text messages, and you call, you have to pick up. Okay, cool. I would say like everyone. I would say no matter how busy you are, though, everyone has it. For like a, everyone has it in their day to send a quick I mean, good morning, a good morning text, uh-huh. doing well, your business, and literally be like, "Hey, my bad, everything's really crazy. I hope things are good. I'm really busy. I'll get back to you, whatever." On that good morning that text, simple? if you wake up next to somebody, do they deserve a good morning every single day? If you wake up next nah. to each other, happy? Nah. If you wake up, if we're right next to each other, we're well, it's just good morning, good kiss. I got shit on for going straight to the shower and taking my poop in the morning and not saying good morning when we wake up next to each other. Is that crazy? No, that's crazy. You used that's to text crazy. me good morning, and now we're sleeping together. <laughs> it looked like she, yeah. want, it looked yeah, like she yeah. wanted to defend it, but then she thought no, about it. And I don't was like, want to defend uh, it. No, well, I don't want to defend it at all because I've been there somewhat. But so, does that make uh, sense? No. I think it's stupid. You used to text me good morning all the time, but now we're sleeping together, and, and I wake up next to yeah, you. Yeah, nah. And you don't say and good morning. Nice, and, and, is it nice to be embraced when like some like they wake up before you and like you know whatever like or, or maybe they get up and get you something to drink or whatever like or you know wake yeah, but up. Hold on, no, I got a question. Does it ever say you have the perfect man? And every morning Nobody he gets is you. Perfect man. But listen, scenario. <laughs> I'm the perfect. Listen, Let's get that every every morning. <laughs> hold on. Every morning he gets you breakfast in bed. Okay. Is there a time when you're like, damn, this is too much? Like I don't want breakfast in bed every day. Hell no. Who says that? I don't. That's why I'm asking. All I know that's is breakfast, breakfast ladies. Break- hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, pass the bacon. The bacon's nice and crispy. Um, no. I, I, why would you get? I mean, you got it's a necessity. Because I feel there's some women that be like, they would be like, yeah. I, well, actually, I seen this, but they're like, I can't be in a relationship because he's too perfect. That's crazy. You guys never heard I've that? heard girls say that somebody's too that, good, like, that a man is too good, or or he's um. I've never had those. Problems. He's not um. <laughs> I've heard girls say like he's not um like. Alpha strong enough. enough, yeah. That like I feel like I'll cheat on him and bully him because he's so nice. Told me that the other day, I'm so like, shorty would cheat on me. You know how. You know how messed up that you sound insane in the head that this guy is so good and so nice that he's too nice for you to date him and you're going to end up cheating on him. Like, what? But that's why I talk about people. What kind of generation do we live in? What do you feel about alpha like females? Alpha female, I love them. Take care of me, baby. Whip my ass. See, like. I like it. I like it when you're an alpha, but also know when to submit. Yes. See, I think there has to be the perfect balance, but I think that they can only submit if the male becomes that alpha as well, though. If yeah. you don't show that alpha, you're going to get drowned out. I'm an alpha female, 100%. But now here's the thing. You can't be demeaning that man's alpha title just because you're an alpha. No, like, no, no. I'm an alpha, but certain, I'm saying like I'm an alpha by nature, right? Like yeah. I'm just like, I'm a, I'm a business person. Like I'm, I just like things to get done. I like things my way. I just, whatever. But you tell me like, like no, or like no, nah, we're gonna go do this. Like, or you make the plan. Or, okay. That, oh. So, what do you think about the cheating generation and this older uh, demographic of people saying that men need more than one girl and this polyagamy? Polyagamy. Polyagamy. Polyam. 
Yeah, just, just poly. Yeah, the poly, poly. one. Poly. 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 That word. Poly works. Before we say the wrong word. Polygamy. Uh, what do you think about that? Polygamy. Ah, why the fuck? Poly- no, because no. there's poly- polyamory too. The fuck is that? Oh, shit. Um, polyamory, guys. No, I think he had. Educate. What was it? No, she polygamy. said two. No, there's polygamy, it's another but there's poly. Another word, sir. There's polygamy, there's poly. There's... What's that one? Oh, my God. Hold on. See, you can't be putting me on the You can't be Googling stuff. If you don't I'm know a... off the top of your head, you don't know it. So, wait, wait. What do you think about those older gentlemen that need more than one woman? In this generation, so I took a sex ed class back in about whatever. I took a sex and ed said class. It's facts, huh? Did it say it's facts? No. So like oh. the human body was actually never really made for like one person. Like the the like the mammals were not like that's why like dogs meet like with whatever they don't have those feeling towards whatever. So we were actually created, not created. I'm to fuck? Get, no. Uh, yeah. Well, like Is sexual. So, so like sexual beings of ma- of mammals, whatever. Right? We're mammals. So like. We were created to reproduce, re- reproduce. But so it was, it's actually like a normal thing to feel like having more than one partner and stuff. Like it's a, not that it's right, right? It's not ethically right or whatever. Like, but my thing about what? it is, why was it ethically right in the Bible in the olden days? If you think about it, Moses and a lot of figures in the Bible had thirteen wives, twelve wives, fifteen wives, mad kids in the Bible. Like that was normal. I feel like. My Whatever the father had mad kids. Mine too. Ho ho. 43 kids. Oh, yeah. What? I don't know about like six wives. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. One, one wife and 20 <laughs> kids. Get out of here. Shoot all the clubs up. That's crazy. He did not miss. They had, they had he a, did uh, not miss. They had a farm and they used to like live off their land. They grew tobacco. They sold tobacco. He was a street vendor. And I was told that like from one of my great uncles, he told me like he used to remember my great grandfather with like cuts and stuff on his face and stuff. Like, he used to get into street fights and stuff like back in, you know, little Puerto Rico like that. Snap, snap, snap. 43 is crazy though. 43 kids. That is. What would you guys do? I got cousins everywhere. What would you guys do if you had 43 kids? I wouldn't take I I don't think I could. Like six wives. Like six or seven wives they told me. You don't think you could? I don't think I could. Mm -mm. 43. Nah. Damn. Yeah, that'd be wild. Because then it's like, that's that's a whole lot of different personalities. A whole lot of different. That's like multiple a year. Because like how much I like, because he died young from my understanding. Yeah, that means you were like, you were like off- you were having yeah, like them. You were having them. All, like for like twenty. You were years having them by. The you were having them by threes, probably. Yeah. If you had, or even by sixes. You had six or seven wives. You probably had. You probably they were all six of them were probably pregnant at the same time, and you did that. A bunch of for mm-hmm. five six years. Crazy. That's wild. That's too much. Let me switch it up a little quick. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about financial situations and stuff like that. We're in a generation, you know, where you can Uber, DoorDash, do a lot of things, and uh, I seen a post on Facebook that people are making fun of. People that went to school and still do an Uber, even though Uber is could be a second or third, you know, type of income that is valid because you can make your own hours and work whenever you want. What do you guys think about people that have a nine to five or have their part time job or have that hobby or gig and then still do Uber and still do DoorDash to make that extra little income? I'm a fan of it. Yeah, Anybody it. making fun of them is a hater. I'm yeah, say, I do Instacart though. So. Yeah, I love it. I've always been like since since college. I've always been one of those people that have to have like. At minimum, two sources of income. I haven't had to live off one like income in a long time, and so Congrats. for me, you get that. For me, I um, I'm a fan of that. Anything that I could pick up as a side hustle, I will absolutely do. I've had two jobs since I was 16, and I'm a fan of and I'm a fan of creating your own schedule, which Uber and all those things allows you allow you to do. So if I don't want to, if I don't want to work this weekend, I don't have to. If I want to make all the money this weekend, I can. I'm a fan of it. If that's the- I think anybody making fun of them like needs a life. Fact. I because think anybody people- like making fun of whatever, like most of those people, they're sitting at home, not really working as hard or whatever. They don't really understand. Most of those people don't realize that you'll be looking at those people as moguls probably soon because they're probably not doing that second job to survive. They're doing it because. One job is their bills. their bills and their living, and the other one is probably straight investments, whether it's real estate, stocks, or extra cash. Or extra but even if they are using it to survive, like... If they're surviving. So what? Nobody should ever be made fun of. Like, if I, if I start working at McDonald's tomorrow, like, they ain't nobody saying shit to me. Like, there's nobody... It's just right. a reality. Like, there's nobody that can say anything to me because half of these people just laid up at home not doing anything. So it's like, right. what are you actually saying? Because, like, I respect them. Like, you're actually working there. What Tell I don't me. like is when you go to McDonald's and they, like... 
Uh, what do you want? You, can I get anything else? And I'll get friend, uh, anything else? And it's like, you know, bro, like if you don't want to work here, go get oh, another job. Yeah, I agree. Like that, yeah, that pisses me off. Like, jobs you don't if you don't want to be here, like go get another job. Like that, that's not my problem. I tell but you what, waiters and waitresses down south, there. so fire. Bro, so fire. friendly, so welcoming. Fire service. Anything you want, baby? You know, what, what you south, down south. south. Like I was just in oh. Atlanta a couple weeks ago in Florida, same way. baby? Yeah, they like, they're just super friendly. Sweetheart, all that. Yeah. They're just, and, and, they're on point. Like they're even. Like, they'll, look, if they'll you even, see me working at Starbucks, don't say nothing. The benefits of Starbucks is crazy right now. Like yeah. there's people that work at Starbucks right now just for the benefits. Like they literally, their health benefits. That's great. Like I think I like the one of the best in the nation. What's what? the delivery service? That's the same thing. Like Amazon competition. Yeah, I think Amazon. No, does. Not Amazon, another one. They wear brown outfits. Uh, UPS. UPS. I, no. <laughs> What's the other ones? There's FedEx, UPS, DHL. Uh, it might be FedEx. They make like 100k a year or something. FedEx like that. makes purple. No, UPS, uh, UPS makes 100k. Is it UPS? Because of oh, their yeah. union, bro. So once you get three years, they get like 40 plus yeah. an hour. And people like people didn't know that, and they're just delivery drivers. That's why. That's why I don't. I don't know if you see. There's a couple of TikTok that do that. Yeah, they, those they are the best. The by yeah. by far, like yeah. Bucks today. Yeah, I've had a well. bunch of different jobs, and I definitely think delivery. I mean. In the wintertime, it sucks a little bit, but I feel like that's like the best job to have because you're really, you you're really your own boss. Yeah. You're vibing out in your car. You're like, you when I used those. to kill it when I was like 17. I worked at Papa Gino's. I used to kill it, bro. I used to like, make, tips, pizza yo, class, they definitely. make money. Yo, I used to make a pizza? lot oh, of money. And then they used to give you, I, tip good. I think they used to give you like 10 or 15 cents per delivery on top of like what you were making already. So if I just was like, like I would zoom back, zoom back, boom, like I was hustling, and I was making really good, and I and nobody bothered me. I didn't have nobody to report mm -hmm. to. I didn't have a boss looking over my shoulder. If I really wanted to be texting or on the phone, I could do that. Like it You're was on the straight. Road. No one's around you. No one's calling you. No one's nothing. Delivery was fire. Yeah, bro. How do you call it? You said waitress called you baby. Yeah. What's one thing a waitress can't call your man? We're talking about compliments and relationships. Like I mean, that. can't call. Like, I don't know what they can't call, but I or know I make I've, you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, not, yeah. I don't think I ever feel uncomfortable, but there's been times that I'm like, because I know some girls. That like, oh no, God, like seriously, like, like some of them the literally. I'm like, I'd be at the table tonight and be like, bro, like they only talk to you. Like they didn't even. They like, me. They she pay? literally just talked to you. Because he's like, paying. No, because I would be like, I'm going. I'm. It's my treat today, right? Like it'd be uh, my treat. So tell her, and she's all like. You know, the girls know. Don't say anything, and then he, I'm like, yeah, keep, 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 So that's why you think they do it? Because they think he's paying? I think so. Oh, easily. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but if you tell them, like, oh, my girl's paying today, they'll do the same thing to you and become lesbian for the night. <laughs> that's the best service in the world. I'm not trying to say it. Nah, nah, but I think some girls are bold like that. Oh, no, yeah. I think some girls are bold. I think like some, girls yeah, are, some, some girls extra, are bold. Tip. Let's go to the bathroom in the back, you know, a little bit. Little cookie, cookie, cookie. You said you seen wow. a uh, the, the, <laughs> the extra. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> you said you seen it on the table. Knocky, knocky. You said you seen a Facebook uh, post. I also seen one, and it said grown man calling roadside assistance for a flat tire is sassy as fuck. Ooh. I tell you, I drove from Correct. Mill Street to Main Street, running my rim because I had no idea what I was doing. I had to bring it to my friend. Listen. So yes, yeah, I got my off. first flat tire when I was pregnant, like eight months pregnant with my son. By the time that any help got to me, I was already kicking the 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 whatever the hell it is. So I don't know what's called the the whatever mechanism they use to oh, yeah, yeah, tighten yeah, yeah, in the lug nut or what to yeah. tighten the lug nut. The jack on it, I was kicking it to to make sure that it was the tightest it could be. I had changed my tire all on my own mm -hmm. with my dad on the phone, seven eight months pregnant. So sassy. Can. Figure think it so? out. Take out the damn manual. Take out YouTube. Yeah, but you're gonna break a sweat. If I don't want to break a sweat, I'll just sit in my AC and wait an hour. I don't fuck. I have nowhere to go. Sassy. Money. If you're paying insurance and AAA you see, down you the see, street. You see the robe. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so sassy. <laughs> I'm sassy. I won't break it. I'll do it, but I, don't, I won't. The Mega John said that he doesn't like old school, traditional, um, like from the country woman. Yeah. That way what? He doesn't like, like, boring, like, he doesn't like old school, clean, traditional. From not passport From bros. like, you know, straight from PR, DR, woman, because it's too boring for him. He's like, I don't want you to just cook and clean and, and like. Stay at home and do nothing. That's crazy. What do you think about that? I think that's crazy. Why? Why yeah, is that she's crazy? She's an alpha woman. You can't say she's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. you can't. You're literally you're talking the wrong person. He, yeah, he's literally saying he wants the alpha. Mm -hmm. We, are, but we even the as best. a but even as an alpha woman, I'm pretty sure you're still cooking and cleaning. 
Right. So and there's bonuses to this. There's levels to this shit. So <laughs> it's an extra package, big bro. So you're 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 so you're saying I'll settle for the cooking and cleaning, and he's saying I'll settle for the cooking, cleaning, and bossing up. No, he wants to no, be bossed up. He true, wants to be bossed that's, around. That's, it doesn't matter. It could be a boss woman that cooks clean too. You, you're just feeling stupid right now, bro. I mean, last I, pod, I, she said you said that if um, you were asked to be a stay at home dad, I would. you would. I don't know how to cook and clean. I don't give a fuck. What's wrong with that? Can you date a sassy? Brother, can you date a stay at home dad? <laughs> Absolutely. What? Stupid. Absolutely. Yeah, he's, he's like, like he's why? not like you. He's like, get yeah. off the pod. Why he's not? Like, he's like, why, 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 why are we Wait, invite? Why not? He's like, this is not the I person. How does an alpha? How does an alpha you female? Don't know alpha, dude. How does an alpha female say yes? I'll date a stay at home dad. Because I'm, because I'm alpha. She don't want to do the stupid sense. shit at home. Okay, but an alpha also, like you said, I want to be submissive sometimes I want to be put in my place sometime okay like, when I get home and, and he's not doing that that doesn't he mean he can be great doesn't mean he can't do that yeah. cussing clean doesn't mean yeah, not going bad he's still got a whole nother job he, he can still choke you out he can still do this and that the fuck are you talking about alright yo DJ's wild <laughs> That's not how it works. I don't even know what he said. <laughs> I said he can still choke you out. He can still do this oh, and yeah. that. He still slap around. He still go down. Sounds like sounds like you want you want to catch a domestic. <laughs> I just I just feel like people don't realize what stay at home moms do. No, nah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's, it's a lot, lot of work. work. Bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. They, they just feel Listen, like... Listen, I'm home for like... AJ. I'm home on like usually Mondays and Tuesdays are like my admin days and like I, I just... I'm like... I'd be burnt out. I'm like, all right. Back to the restaurant I go. Like, I, I just... And that's crazy. They're older too. And they're older. My kids are older. Like well, when they're... Even when they were little, it's like... It's it's a lot of work. Yeah. My cousin has four and he goes, they love McDonald's. Thank God I don't have to do anything. They're just bringing McDonald's twice a day. <laughs> I said, what Why the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah, just eat chicken nuggets and fries, bro, and I don't have to do anything. They're so happy. I said, okay, I guess. And if that's that easy, then uh, uh, well, I have, have three of them. Have I met this cousin? Yeah, same cousin we're talking about. That's crazy. crazy. He has four. Jimmy with the freckles? He's dumb. Nah, this is Dominican with the bodega store. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, let me switch it up real quick. Has anybody here ever started a fight or their girl or man started a fight over social media? For example, you know how social media tells you when you're active on a social media page? Yep. Like Instagram will tell you, like, the great oh, dot. Yeah, back or, in the day. Though. Oh, no, it's still, yeah. It's still active right now. No, like, wait, you wait, haven't. Wait, 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 wait. Let him get through the question. I got this. I'm going first. Okay. So, but if you don't kill the app, you're still active. I was sleeping with my app still open, and someone thought I was up at 3, 4 in the morning when I was sleeping at 9 p.m. So We're like, fighting. We're going to fight. We're fighting. We're fighting because I'm let active that on IG, up. but I'm sleeping. Don't let that green dot be. We're fighting. No, no, actually, you're the green remember dot. what you said earlier? No, listen. I'll call you. Matter of fact, matter, pick matter, up. Fact, yeah, matter of fact. Don't let that green matter dot fact, be up. Matter of fact, I took off my own green dot so that I wouldn't see anybody else's. Oh, you can turn it off? Yeah, and if you turn yours off, you can't Talk see nobody off. else's. You have a crazy bitch well, on you. So you crazy? Shut it off because then you don't see anybody else's either. So then you can't even have that toxicity. But any, okay, but could, will it still show the yeah. last time you logged on? Like, was active? No, I won't tell you that. Twenty five minutes no, ago? No, 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 no I'll say that. not if you shut it oh, off. Oh, DMs, DMs do, DMs do, DMs do, right? Yeah, no, DMs because you shut it off. everything you shut can. Off. Okay, you shut can shut it off. off. Okay, okay. So He's like, no, yeah, no, because I used to, right I used yeah, to have shut somebody that be like, I, I messaged you. 30 minutes ago and, and your your IG said uh-huh. you were active 25 minutes ago I hate like that. but let me clarify I've you never guys ever like hopped on IG scroll for 2 seconds look at your notifications hopped on TikTok hopped on Facebook for 2 seconds yeah. you weren't really active but it's And then fell back to sleep? No, not fall back to sleep but, but I'm saying that's ha- that's happened. I could oh, okay. literally get up go use the bathroom check it real quick go to sleep yeah. and then and then it tells then, people you're active and yeah. then you were you Have know, you ever really. have you ever um woke up like in the middle of the night or two, three, four in the morning, whatever, looked at your phone, might have clicked a message, read it, but it really didn't process mm-hmm. in your nah, head. Nah, you, you fell you asleep. Fucked up. You, fucked you up. fell asleep. You fucked up. And then when you woke up, you realized that you had a message you never responded to. Mm-hmm. No? I'm, that. That's your fault. I'm getting that, Crystal. That's your fault. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that message is not that important. Bro. I mean, That's your fault, buddy. You're on your own with that. At one. three, yeah. at three, <laughs> three, four in the morning, your brain's not even active. I don't know because if that message says, "Hey, yo, I just got in a car crash," you, would you probably wake up? That's what I'm saying. But if there's a message you don't care, like, oh yeah, fuck it. Damn, I'm just <laughs> you're on your own. That's crazy. No. You guys, I have been active though. I have been active and told like social media? on like social media, like I've been active, and, told, and then I've got in text messages like, "I'll tell your other boyfriend." I said, "What's up?" Like. What? Like, I went to the bathroom, I went pee, and I just checked my messages real quick. Like, I'm not really active. Oh, so you had a crazy man that do that. 
There's a lot of crazy men out there. I don't know. You like you like uh, jealousy? No. Um, I it mean, wait. Care. Everybody likes jealousy a little bit. It means they care. No, what? everybody likes jealousy. What's the bit. limit? What's the limit? Like the boundary to like, yeah, this is not jealousy. I left a shorty for like, going through my phone. Like this is cute jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. What? Wait, what did you say? I left a shorty for going through my phone. No, yeah. you can't do that. I can't. Do Yo, how about I mean, this? That, she but. drove. He said I did it. About Yo, don't go too much detail. Twenty-two hours to I, see I him. No, and his his stuff. Her stuff was packed, and he was like, you need help with this? <laughs> After she drove, like, 22 hours to come see him. Bro. That's not the moral He could have broke up with that's her. Not, that's he could have broke up with her over the phone. No. Like, if you, you're a respectful she drove man across. that doesn't cheat on women, and you love women, and you, you treat them right, there's no woman in the world that should be going through your phone. That's a lack of trust. You understand me? Why does she have that lack of trust? Because I'm a very nice person. You gave her a reason. No, I, I didn't give her a reason. I'm just you a very nice reason. person. I'm a lovey-dovey person. I love sometimes, her. At some point, you gave her a reason. You know what? Sometimes I feel like God is telling you, go you through right? that phone. And oh, I got feeling like, you know, something happens. Oh, Eight times out of ten, I've gone through a phone. You found something. I've been correct. Yeah. That's wrong. what I'm saying. I feel like God told me. I had to drive 20 What happened the other two times? I was happy. <laughs> you were happy that you didn't find anything? Yeah. I was happy. I was like, okay. But do you feel fucked up for going through the phone? No. That's fucked up. The, the, the two times you didn't find him, do you treat that man better after? Yep, absolutely, 100%. Okay. And he doesn't even you know you him? went through the phone either. You just, tell him? You just absolutely not. You just randomly okay. cooked them she breakfast. Told me she fucked up. You just she randomly told cooked them breakfast and like. I love you like, so much, baby. You got, like, you got the royal treatment. <laughs> You're the most loyal man in the world. What got up to you this morning, baby? Oh, no, I just love you. You're such a great man. <laughs> I just woke up and realized what was in, my, in front of me in my eyes. Yeah, Jumping yeah. on the bed like, good morning. Oh, yeah. I had a girl that used to go through my phone. And her dumbass would never X out the apps. And I know for a fact that when I went to bed, the first thing that should not be popping up is, like, my messenger. Because I barely even look <laughs> at messenger. No one uses that shit. Like, so that's, like, when I see messenger is open, I'm, like, then I figure it out. Like, oh, sure. Then I look, I go X out that app. And I look, okay, Twitter DMs. X out that app. <laughs> Instagram DMs. X out. I'm like, no, what the fuck? All these tracks. shits are in my DMs. Did, like, did she find AJ, anything? She was a rookie. Yeah, rookie. definitely rookie. Rookie. Super rookie. rookie. And, and, and how about this? And Snapchat fucking logs you out anytime somebody logs into your shit. So when I go to open my shit and I'm logged out, I know I'm like, Some that's what really did it for me. At first, I was like, man, was I tripping? Was I drunk last night or whatever? Like, was I looking through messages? So the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebook didn't really get me. It was when I'm logged out of Snapchat and I'm like... See, if somebody did that to me, I wouldn't even know because I probably have like 30 apps open in my phone at all times. No, when I go to click it and you're in the main menu to log in, that's how I knew. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, the only thing she found was messages from 2000... Yeah, like, there. messages from 2015. A girl that I used to talk to in like 2015. And, and you got in trouble for it? And we were in 2018. After, after getting cheated on, who forgives more? The women... Or the men? Women. The men. Women. The men. Men have been crying. Men two. cannot get cheated on. I'll never forget. What? But men will take it better. Men can't. Men, not that you can't. You, men get cheated on, yes. Men can't take getting cheated on the mm. way a woman can take getting cheated on. Okay. But here's the thing. Men can move past it better than a woman can. Oh. A, a, a woman, a woman, like, she's going to hold, she's going to, she's either going to low-key resent you for the rest of y'all relationship or she's going to get her get back. And it may not come a week, a month, a year. It might be fucking five years. I seen this thing I feel like I woman, feel like women will hold on to that shit. It's, you're going to always think about it. When you look in the mirror. She messaged a guy from like a different phone and was like, I know that you're cheating on your wife and X, Y, and Z. And she was like, you got to send me like $2,000, $3,000 and or I'm going to tell your wife. But it was the wife anonymously messaging her husband. So paid? she got paid. <laughs> Wait, oh. yo, that's it. That's a smart business. That's crazy. That was, that's hey, hold on. Thing probably ever. got probably got paid and busted because he was like, <laughs> yeah. if, I'd, if, if you weren't doing anything wrong, you'd be like, I'm not sending you shit. Sorry, bitch. Right. Right. Yes, right. Right. Cash app, but if you were doing right. something wrong, you're like, hey. So she was like, well, at least if you're gonna stay with him, do it, do it right. And it that's was a like, business. It was like, I'm gonna start like, that. I'm like, yo, that's actually pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna smart. make a fake profile and just start sending mad people, right? Because they cheated. Yeah, it's gonna okay. hit. Okay. How do you? It's how would you, how would you feel? How would you feel if your man um, had an OnlyFans? Could you deal with that? That was his hustle, and he was making really good money with it. Yes. Mm. Keep it. Huh? Wow. Keep it. Keep it him or keep it? Keep both. It. Wait, both. Guess what? 
Yes, I was saying if your man had an OnlyFans and was making really good money off of it, are you okay with him doing it? And she oh, said you yes. Understand. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is there like a you can't do this? Is there no, limits? like no. I mean, take me out to dinner, baby. <laughs> I said the same thing. They call me crazy. Yo, I mean, I was. I mean, that, 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 we're like one for ten on that. You're like the first woman that has said that on this podcast. Really? I'll join. All of them say no. All I'm of them say no. Woman. I don't know. I, I like. I mean, what is he actually? And like, it's virtual. I, it's virtual. Like, what is he actually doing? At the end of the day, he's in my house. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, this is our house. This is our whatever. He's probably like, recording the videos on their I'm bed. I'm probably on the other side of the camera trying to get your best angles. Like, yo, let's make this money. Like, I don't know. I there wish I had the guts to do it. I, I mean. I always right? joke about, fuck, I joke fuck about it. Fuck the morals. I gotta, I gotta, yeah. Fuck. I've been thinking about it all the time. Like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm only fans in it. You didn't see that, that, that reel? It was like a, a woman and she showed up with like a Mercedes for her mom. She was like, mom, she was like, this is for you. And she was like, it was a brand new Mercedes. She was like, I put your feet on, on OnlyFans. And she was taking pictures of her mom's feet and putting them on OnlyFans. And she made so much money from her mom's feet on OnlyFans that she bought her mom a car. It's only right. It's only right. <laughs> That's wild. I want to find those feet. Apps. See the feet. If I could make money like that off of feet, that. I would. A real app. I just no. I listen, I, there money. is. I swear. No, is. I swear. I have it like right there, ready to like. I've crossed. I've crossed It's just your feet. It's matter. just your feet, right? That's like I said that. The other day. There's nothing. Only weird people are are uh, sexually gratified by feet. So for me, I'm like, listen. But there's an no, app it's, for it. You're That's doing a, a justice. Facts. <laughs> you letting people, people. get their shit off. People. That's crazy. I'm saying. Think about how many times you've been accidentally, or not even accidentally, just carelessly barefoot. If you really think about it. And if you take a photo every single time. If I'm I'm in my crib with no shirt on, shorts, no socks, no shoes, and I get, uh, like, my delivery guy bringing me some Nuestra, I'm over here running to the front of the building. With your shoes off in the hallway? Looking like a caveman. How about about if your delivery guy was into feet and he's looking at them? He was like, thank you, What sir. you paying for? <laughs> what, what if they say an extra hundred dollars if you put some caramel drizzle on those toes? You got it? <laughs> I'd be like, you got you it? Wouldn't. You got the caramel drizzle? I, what? If you told me to put caramel drizzle on my toes? Cochino. Here you go. It's a DM. You got don't touch them. Don't, don't, tu- don't no, you, you didn't. You- don't touch them. Oh, the don't guys. look at them. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't try to lick them, okay? But you could. What if that's a thousand dollars for a lick? A thousand dollars to lick my toe? Yeah. And it's a guy? Nah, I can't do that. I'll do it. That's I can't do it. Nah. Toes, bro. Dude, I'll do it. Nah, that's a Close good one. Close your eyes. <laughs> oh, thank you for the service. <laughs> and then this man gives you the, the fucking two-handed gawk, gawk on your big toe. Ah, yeah, I'm out. For 10K? <laughs> I'll take it. You said a thousand. You said a thousand. <laughs> yeah, for a lick. Oh, yeah. For a lick. How did it jump? The guy will go 3,000 for 10K. I'll that's take crazy. It. What? You want the booty hole for 100K? I'll take it, too. Wait, Sheesh. what? 100K? To what? do what to your booty hole? I'm out. Yeah, next question. I'm All right, next, next question. question. You got one? Or you, got, you gonna go? Uh, yeah, I'll go. Uh, why? Why do women got hot. <laughs> expect men that don't treat their kids right, or is cheating on their girlfriend with them, think that they have a chance to be with a faithful guy in the future? That's a long ass question. <laughs> it was. Break why it. was an unfaithful? Exactly, because that's what they think. Basically, who, 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 basically why an right. unfaithful man? Why do women think an unfaithful man could be faithful to them? Put it like that. Why did you say that? Because. Because he wants to add the kid part too. Kid part. Like oh, when you okay, see an ain't shit dude, oh, okay, he's okay, not okay. taking care of his original kids. Uh, and what would make you think if you, you two had kid. kids together that he's going to be a good dad to them? Because maybe you're a good mom, better mom. I don't know. Because it's not always, it's, all, it's on perception too though. Because what if the what if the first one really is like holding back like that kid from that person? Like people, females do that. No, no, you're right. So but like, there's some that you know. Or, or is this guy? Or are we talking like, nah, the guy's just actually like a nah, shitty dad. This is like you know this dude. And so why do females think that they can have? Uh, why a, why do you think you could save him and make this not? Why do you think it's gonna be different with you? Yeah, basically. Mm, I like that one. I don't know. The true colors were shown. Kind of female, so his I color, could, his color is is green. No, it's fucking red. All the red flags are there, and and <laughs> you're like, like I'm gonna turn him. Red. I'm gonna turn him violet. No, what are your doesn't work like that. Ooh. I don't really know. Um, je- like jealousy is a red flag. Big red flag. Like like super jealous. Like you gotta let me still do my thing. Like I'm a like I'm a businesswoman, so I'm always thing? doing. 
You're so networking like, with 10 dudes in their corner, getting all their numbers. I'm like, uh, are, no. they, are you working or are you getting their numbers? You know? Right. No, but so that's what I'm saying. Like, work, being that able happens. to work, being able to work and have, like, you know, being able to have that work without, like, that jealousy and stuff. Like, there's conversations that you need to have with other men and, and stuff in general, like, inboxes or whatever. Like, you know, I had the president of a bank recently message me and was like, hey, I've heard a lot of really good things about you. Like, I want to connect or whatever. Like, I'm trying to see what you need from me. Like, I'm trying to see, you need me to be a consultant. Like, what what are we, what are we doing? Like, how, mm-hmm. how is this going to be beneficial towards me and my future mm. and my kid's future? But somebody else could see that as him trying to be a, maybe an opportunist or whatever. Yeah. So that's a red flag. Like, if somebody, like, if my partner wouldn't understand that this is a business opportunity. But at the same time, I'm straightforward, too. If I'm going to lunch or something and it's a, it's a, it's a mail or whatever, I'm like, hey, I'm going to lunch with so-and-so. We're going to discuss this and that. And not because I need permission, but out of respect to just be like, hey, I this think is what I'm doing. And whatever. When, and when if you there's live, a problem with that, then that's a red flag. Would you when say you just live in it, case someone texted you, I'm out there with a man eating? Not just in case somebody texted me. I don't give. A, I don't care what anybody has to say. Like, people will talk and stuff all the time, but I think like... Communication. But I think it's... I mean, communication... I don't want to know. Like, if you're out with a female or whatever and you guys discuss in business, that's cool. I, I don't like, think communication I is key. Off. I would be pissed no, off. No, communication is key. Understanding is key. Yeah, but no, no, but the communication... Here's the thing. How would you feel, right... Shorty's at church right now. Let's say after church. Don't do this to me. No, <laughs> she went. She just yeah, went out to she lunch. Right now, she went out to lunch with with the pastor's son. Okay, you know, and somebody sees her. So what business does she have with the pastor's son? You never know. He could be into okay, hair. Look, they so could be I talking about doing that. I'm, I'm cool. And somebody okay. messages you and says, "Yo, I seen your girl, like on a date with with a guy." That's You'd okay. be like, and if you didn't know about it, but if you knew, like, oh, she's just talking business with the pastor's son. Okay. Boom. Nah, and you're not paying it no nah, mind. Nah, right, right, right. It's it's being able. It's I'll, what I always I'll say. Finish. That's actually super important. What I always say is being giving me the benefit of the doubt. Like always making sure that I know because if somebody anybody ever came to me with anything, I'd be like, okay, like you, like making sure that I never look dumb. Like yeah, I always, yeah. I'm always. That's why know. I feel like those. Will, those you, will you pretend not to look dumb even if you did get caught off guard? Yeah, because I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know about and that. Like, Don't worry about that. And you fucking bust in the back. Of the <laughs> I see a lot of people. Do, you, you notice that, right? A lot of people do that. Like, oh no, I already know that. And then they, they yeah. ask. Me yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's like not nah, like not nah, call me right now. Like you know, like. That's why I think those conversations. I'm not saying it's important because you want to. Don't ever throw somebody's past in their face. But those conversations of your past, I think, are a necessity because I would rather hear from your mouth and know what you did or or whatever it is. To an versus, yo, did you know that you know I went to high school with Shorty and then the ball team ran a train on her. Yeah, but like you can't say you can't be completely. I'm out. You can't. Be that would hurt me if I found that out from my homie. I'm Knife in my fucking chest. Yeah, chain. but like, how do you actually? I mean, you can't. How really deep in the relationship? Because I'm, I'm out. You I'm can't not under a year. I'm out. I'm just saying you gotta be open. You gotta be open. No, but under a year, I'm like, yo, I'm. I'm it hasn't I don't even. Hey, hey, you know, you can. Hey, baby, what, what's the something. craziest thing you ever did? You know, you can bring I it up so it's smooth. Yeah. You know. But what if, what if she says something crazy? Yo, and and she's it's not, not even like the crazy. No, no, it she said something crazy and she's not like that anymore. Yeah, it wasn't. Dave Chappelle. What? What happened? That's good. And he's like, yo, what's the crazy thing? She was like, yeah, I had like three, three some something with her best friend. And the dude, it's but it's like a comedy skit, and he, the dude was like. You didn't tell me that, baby. When the, what was this? And she was like, yeah, it was two guys. And then this other guy came in. And he's a like, baby. Oh, baby. I see that. I see yeah, that. Yeah, he's a like, baby. You didn't tell me this. And he's like shaking. And he's like, yeah, she, it keeps getting worse, bro. And I, so, but what if you hear something like that, right? And then you're like, oh, she's freaky like that. And you got like another perspective of sexual level. But then she's not like that anymore. And you're like, bitch, you did that with these motherfuckers? And you're not going to do that shit with me? Like I heard like some shorty ever told me once that she had sex in like the mall bathroom. I was like, oh, I can do it in public then. That's valid. And I tried to do it in public a couple times. She said, no. I was like, yo, so who the fuck was this guy? And you guys fucked in public. I can't fuck in public, bitch. I'd get jealous, probably. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand the level. I'm not complete, like, not to that extent. Not to that extent, I, but, I, like, I geez, like, I understand what you're talking about. That's fucking about. public. Once, so I could be the same level as the man. It's good for know? the goose, gotta be good for the gander. Because what it is is, you have that memory with that person, and if you don't make another memory with another person, that's the only person you ever did that shit Honestly, with. Honestly, when I, when I was younger, I was, like, super careless and reckless about that spot, but then, like... Or just about public spots, I meant. I but the, like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying public spots. But now it's like now that I'm older and like I see people like get arrested for that shit oh, yeah. or get charges for that shit. I'm like, oh, like, nah. I'm the prude now. I'm like, Mm-mm, not here. What if a cop drives by? Hundred dollar hotels, bill. What What happens if you do get arrested? For- Indecent exposure. Uh, red, yeah. red level yeah, two. Kids around you, fuck, bro. You got a level yeah. two. Dick out and shit. Yeah, 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 you got a sexual. 
Yeah, they they level to you. That's good to know, cause that's some people. Even that. if you pee outside. Yeah, no, I know yeah. that. I know that. I seen somebody peeing outside of the WRTA hub, hub thing yesterday. I was like, yeah, that's stupid. disgusting. Yeah. I don't get that. I'm like, bro, like you're like, come find a better corner, like. Yeah, that's. that's I yelled at him out the window. I'll, I'll, like, at, least, away. I'll, I'll at least cover uh, cover myself with my car. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, I'll park like, somewhere yeah. where I can go on one side of my car where nobody can see me. It doesn't matter if, if there's piss on the ground. They know you pull your pants down, and there's families walking around. You're still getting sex offender type. Yeah. Type of. Is this disrespectful? Yeah, if you gotta go, you gotta go. That's fine. It's, it's and then you're but if female gotta go, she gotta go. Was she's expected to hold it? No, so I've, seen females, it. I've seen females. I've seen females. I've seen mad bitches. Squad. What? Especially I mean, when the rompers, when the yeah, rompers yeah, first came out, more females peeing outside s- than guys. Yeah. Yeah. What? I didn't see a whole no lot of fucking rompers get. Especially drunk. You don't think these club girls are on the corner? Yeah, I don't be in the clubs. I don't. You don't have to. You know, you know these girls. If at the end of the night, it's two thirty, and they're like, "Yo, pull over!" And you go, they go in the alley. And you just like, I gotta, go, I gotta, I gotta pull go, it go. over or whatever. Like, like I mean, I, you gonna sit there and tell me on a trip nah. to New York, you never pulled over on the side of a highway? I, I've jumped in the back of the car in the cup in the trunk in the back, and then oh, I have she an got aim assist. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I go in the trunk. I never done. If the I have bottle. a cup, if I have like a, nah. a cup or a bottle you got a somewhere, cup big enough. I pee on. Don't uh, they have the, those things now though for like uh, girls? They have the little suction. Yeah, cups. but who really like buys them and like has them like on hand? Probably like five dollars. Sure. Keep in the car. What are those things called? Anybody know? I don't know. Don't know what they're, they're called. Like a urinal type thing. Pussy pieces. Yeah, yeah. Pussy peas. I'm dead. <laughs> so so T-P. is 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 dancing at a club? Uh-uh. Cheating? Yeah. Cheating. Whoa, yeah. whoa. Una bachata, no, no, bachata. No, no, no. But it, no. Depend, it depends how if they dance. It's respectful. Too. No. You just have to be respectful. Depends. Any type of bachata, do it. What? If he puts. If, if you're learning how to dance, baby, if bring he it home. If he puts his hand. <laughs> Yo, Delis, his yeah, twitch went off. No, the hand yeah, should no. not be on the ass, but it should be on the lower waist, yes. It will, be on, the, he, it will be on the lower waist, buddy, yes. Oh, My hands will be. I'm, I'm so okay. cheating, so so dancing is cheating for you. It depends. Yeah, it depends. What about for you? No, um. If it's like salsa or bachata, no. No. Okay. If it's not like super sexual or whatever, like it's just like. Listen, if I can't salsa and she's salsa and very sexy with somebody, then I might be a little. You just gotta be nah. like a little bit far. You get too close. Oh, you can't do the pelvic thrust and shit like that nah, when nah, you. No, nah. we're fighting. That's what I'm looking. See, we're yeah, fighting. that's you not. We are fighting. It's because you guys are not Dominican. Your head. We're fighting. <laughs> are you knocking him outside his head in the club, or are you wait until y'all step no, no, out no, the we're club? Gonna we're gonna wait. Nah. She's gonna no, make no, eye contact. You gonna wait till you get to the to the car? Girls that are like that, like so. When Bobby Schmurder came to a restaurant, I'm not even gonna put this person out there like that, but it was the stupidest thing. I've I've never seen like such like jealousy in a female and um i was bringing bobby upstairs bobby wanted to be trying to smoke on my in my bar bobby like bro hi i'm the owner of this establishment I'm like i can't have you smoking weed right and he wanted to spark up I'm like, i can't have you doing that so i was like look let me take you upstairs whatever you people are gonna get away from this crowd or whatever so i'm going to tell this guy like hey listen i'm gonna take bobby upstairs where i'm selling him because he's part of like the whole function or whatever yeah. So I'm very respectful, very businesslike. I kind of go over to him. I'm literally talking to him, like telling him in his ear because the music is really loud. His girl took his arm and literally yanked him away from me, like pulled him from being able to talk to me. And he looked at me, he was like, yo, she's the owner. And I looked at her, I was like, I couldn't even believe, like I, I was like laughing in my head, like, bro, did this just happen? Like, did this girl just really like pull this dude? Like, that's so embarrassing. I was embarrassed for him. Cause I'm like, bro, like I, would, I could never. If I have a problem, we're gonna discuss this like in private, like me and you. I'm never gonna because you look stupid. You look real vulnerable. Definitely you look, your own you look weak, yeah. especially when nothing sexual was being no, said. I, I that's what makes it. Yeah, yeah, that's what makes like, it even if, worse. If like your show, now like, you look like boo boo the fool. Right. Yeah. I literally looked at her and he was like, "Yo, she's the owner." And I was like, "Bro, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, nobody wants your man." I'm like, "Can we talk? Can we talk business? Or are you gonna still trying to pull him?" And she like looked at me and I just started laughing. I just talked like. I'm like, anyways, back to what I was saying, mm. and whatever, and it was like, yo, I've never had that like happen, but Shorty literally like yanked them right away, and I was like, this is not real life, like this, uh, this actually, I didn't think that people actually did this. No, people I was that. like, bro, just, that's crazy. Like, there's a whole, there's levels to that. I just feel like you should know your partner. Like, if you was dancing with somebody, like you said, and you see your partner's face, like, you know, she's bothered. You're like, yeah, like. Let me cut this shit off. Oh yeah, if I'm right you know there, you're yeah. gonna I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm cheering you on. I'm like, mm-hmm. so you we're all a little bit. Of all I'm gonna cheer you on two different ways. I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna be like, I like see, this. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, ah. Let me you see that, my lips what? first. Wait, wait, wait. It's a problem. Let me bring that topic. To if a you see my lips extreme. first. <laughs> you know, let me bring that topic to a little bit more extreme. You guys know who Adam Twenty Two is? Yes. And I would know. He's an idiot. So he has multiple times with other women, 
with his shorty on OF and their podcast, right? But she just texted someone for the first time, another man, and did their own show with another man. He's monetizing the fuck out of it right now on all the podcasts, talking to everybody, a celebrity, probably bringing everyone back and talking about it. I know he don't care. No, he but, cares. No, he, cares. He, he said he felt some type nah, of way. He definitely cares. Bro, he said listen, for the listen, first bro, time. Whack 100, he said, uh, like three other people, in like one week, he just brought everyone back just to talk about it. He's monetizing all that. He no, nah, he definitely is. But he, nah, he cares. Nah, no, he's, he's monetizing, but he cares. He yeah. cares. But let's it get. Was, no, like you have to get the thing right. It was her first. Uh, I think male, seen, yeah. male. Male. Male and, and BBC. And it was a BBC. Yeah. So, no, and Adam, she had the number and he was popular. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So to that, and he extreme. said he felt it felt caught because it was her, the first scene since they got married, and they got married, and then she pinned the tweet of the scene, like the the little promo. It's she marketing, did. bro. What are you guys trying to add on, on top of shit for? No, it, it could be marketing. I but just once, think I think I think jealous, I think he was it. I think he was for That's it. What we're getting at. I think he was for it until it happened, and yeah. then he was like, "Yeah, nah." Like, like so that, Adam Twenty Two has multiple times with other women and his wife, and this is the first time she did her, her own solo with another man. But now he's monetizing off podcasts, talking about it. What do you think about that? Like they just try to add more. No, you extra, have, extra, but you extra. have to tell her. He on the podcast, he said that now after it went through, he he's not gonna lie. He feels some type of way. That she did a pot. It was a podcast. No, no, no. no, no. no. It's a, so a porn left. video. Yeah, like a, they yeah. they you um, they like they had three something, four something. Yeah, only with other for. girls, and she did her own solo for the first time because he she, he gave her permission. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She did her first solo scene without him with another man. Okay, so what's, it's the BBC, question? what's my question sorry. now? The question is, what do you think about that? We were just talking about lower, I'm talking about bringing it to a higher expectation, you know? Is that okay? Is that cool? Like, you know what I'm saying? You already allowed it to happen with your he man. He got to eat that. Now it's my time. He got to eat that. He's the one that said, yeah, you should have said no from the jump, bro. Yeah. You should have knew that you weren't going to be able to handle it. You got to eat that, boys. What do you guys have to say about that, baby daddies? Yeah, and they have a kid. Baby daddies? Uh, bro, hopefully he could. I'm just saying, as a guy, bro... He's not gonna eat that. Food. You remember? You remember when Kevin when that Kevin Hart said sleeping at night. Kevin Hart told this boy who was into doing some swinging shit. He was like, "Yo, be careful." He's like, "Once you know, once you hit a certain, there's no coming back. Like it's gonna be hard." He goes, "It ain't gonna be real fun when you see a dude, you know, going double overtime on your lady." Not that. <laughs> he said, "They ain't no. He's just aggressive. He's like, there's no coming back from that." And he was right because he said his boy and, and the girl like they ended up like breaking up or whatever like that. They did swinging. Right. Yeah, but I low key think it's gonna affect them in the future. Whose fault is that? His. Yeah, I think his that I think that that whole industry. Both of them though, because then she had the desire to go do whatever on her own too. In fact, she wanted Wait, to do it. Wait, did he have his own solos? I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, I think she so, said yeah. she had on a podcast like, "I was sick one day, so I said, go fuck that bitch for the business, baby.' Yeah, for both of us. Do it for the team." She said, "Go to work." So she's open. She says it, but his was like. Oh, shit. I think that industry is all confused anyway because I, I don't get how you could have a happy relationship knowing there's a hundred plus videos of your shorty out there on the internet that yeah, like, everyone is seeing that yeah you can't live happily ever after we can't yeah. really we can't really relate no no, no. Yeah, I mean you could you could think but we none of us can really I what mean, about if I your shorty relate. stuff is leaked and you just met her and you're like um, my boy just sent me a photo of your titties how did he get that. That's Damn, tough. she put her head down like she knows somebody. No, <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> that's tough, it's bro. On camera. That's tough, but I don't know. Yeah, Leaked? that's right. I feel like I have, to, I have and to, and to be in this situation. on Twitter because some shorty posted it like last month, and every girl has it saved on their phone. You're like, Oof. are you talking about this man, Dingo? Oh my god, you hit it, and you haven't even hit it yet, and you're like, I haven't seen his penis, and you guys all seen the penis? That's crazy. I know. How would you take that? You stop, you you're stop. dating a guy You guys are really into each other He's super polite He's super nice like to you month. Dates First date went great Second date went great You guys are on the third date And you start to tell your friends Like yo I met this guy I think we're really feeling each other We're about to go on our third or fourth date Is the man then, go king? And then you tell the friend who it is And then they're like oh And they show you a picture But it's only because his shit got like Leaked on Twitter or something like that I, I don't even know. You're calling. You're calling and canceling that date. <laughs> <laughs> You're calling and canceling that yeah, date. She's locking the number. On. Yeah, we're like in the beginning. Yeah, I'm going to move It was on. just one crazy ex-girlfriend. It was his first girlfriend ever, and she just did it. And he never had sex with anybody else but one woman. But you don't know that. You didn't give him the chance to tell you that or explain. I feel like you no, should. No, I would yeah. like, You be taking things to like a whole other deeper level. That's what he does. <laughs> like you, you, There's you, men you, like that. Like, yeah, yo, let me take it to the extreme. Let me give you the metaphor. <laughs> There's men like that. This dude. Bro, there are men like that, bro. You really think you really think that 
a girl a girl would be quicker to leave the boy or do you think the boy would be quicker to leave the girl men are softies they would be the first ones to leave first i think so you said men are softer softies <laughs> yes that's crazy 100 percent. they can't get taken cheated on and but that's not yet cheated they on they also wouldn't be able to handle knowing of other people with pictures or whatever of their girl so the man would not be able to handle it as the woman would be able to I don't know about that. Argue with me. Argue with her. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think if, if I've been dating somebody for a month, two months, three months, whatever, and unfortunately her shit got her shit got hacked or whatever. I've been drinking. Her shit got her uh, her shit got hacked, and for whatever reason she got leaked out. Then that's not her fault. You you wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to even let her explain. I would. I would let her explain. My girl's titties on the internet. She's not explaining shit. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. Stupid. No, not 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 giving her a chance. I believe I believe him because he's bad about nudes going into celebrity inboxes. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. What if your man does that? What? Sends nudes to celebrities <laughs> that don't even open <laughs> that don't even open not, his not DM. Like <laughs> He's like My just trying to shoot a shot at J Lo every day, or or even like fucking Christina Milian, whatever, and sending Christina nude. Milian. I didn't need that's wow. That's, you, your age is showing. Oh, oh she's still oh, there. Shit. I just seen her photo yeah, the other day. She, she is. Yeah, she's she's her age is showing, but she's still. Beautiful. No, his age is showing. The fact that he said. Oh, I know you said, but I just seen the photo. Facts. I said J Lo and then Christina Milian. Yeah, 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 <laughs> he said, no, he said no. no. He said no. Uh, older woman. Uh. <laughs> that's crazy. But anyway, um, you probably be like, what the fuck? No, I think that's creepy. I think that's creepish. It's not even about the pictures. Girls do it. Just we, we know like, a few girls. Them? We know a few girls that send their titties and like stuff Drake like that shit. to like Drake and all of them. It's creepy. It's weird. Like, what are you trying to accomplish? Drake? To see it? <laughs> he's not going to. He got plenty. He doesn't need. You not, never know. He could fly her out. He'd be like, yeah, Yo. they do that. Low key, though. He might put hot sauce in your condom. You know saying, there's so many girls. That there's you, so many smart girls that don't expose them, but they're, they're in everybody's DMs. Facts. I heard they are. No name out there, but there's a local girl that. She was doing some things with a basketball star, the boss or something. And it was one of the main stars. He and was I, the best. That was like, <laughs> <laughs> one of the main the stars. The main star. But I, shout out to fellas, you. Get the fellas, bag. Fellas, fellas, fellas. What is your opinion on women that sexualize themselves on social media but deny they do it for likes and views? That's so what do you retarded. do it for? What do you do it for? If you're posting stuff on social media, you're doing it for attention. You're doing it for likes. You're doing it... For your self esteem, yeah, you're doing it to. Because if she posts yeah. that and she gets two likes, I bet you she's not gonna keep posting. She's taking it off, right? She's yeah. privately. Yeah, she probably deleted. Well, it again. She's archiving it for later. <laughs> post, yeah, post. But if she <laughs> posts, she gonna be uh, new to you, old to, to me. No, you know what I hate? I seen people be like, "Oh, it it somehow got deleted." Um, so I'm posting it again like and that's kind You of, deleted it bro. Like, after 10 likes in 3 hours yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying Like don't say that Or be like hey like Be honest Be like I'm trying again to Battery Yeah I'm trying again to get more likes Oh that's low power Yeah Requisito Requisito or I got questions Yeah Requisito so Just fix it yeah Or need a charge it It says 20% And hey, we're taking a break guys We'll be back Take- I got a question Since Nancy a female Oh damn okay Yeah can you say we're back Yeah, yeah we're back Oh, yeah. You forgot to say we're back. And we're back. <sighs> Hit it. Anyway, so, Nat, if you lose an engagement ring or a wedding ring, are you expecting the man to buy you another? No. Ooh, what the fuck? Why'd you yeah. only ask her? She's a female. Oh, okay. Sorry. Duh. Yeah, but that's like a general question. No, but I can ask you guys, are, are we going to buy them back? Would you buy it back? Yeah. But I mean, I'm asking her first. Act, depending, first. On, depending on the situation, how it got lost. Like, maybe it, did it slip oh, out God. or whatever, like, and you guys were out together and it fell or whatever, and you lost it in the ocean or something? Or did you carelessly take it out and, it, you know, whatever, like, you still place it down rings. somewhere? You still got the matching gold ring, so what? Like, did you lose it because you carelessly, was it careless? Carelessness? No, absolutely not. You guys, I don't expect or whatever. Nah, I, would, I would, I would feel so bad that I would try to replace it. But that's just that's me. what I'm saying. No, me too. I might, I might try to replace it, but I might not buy you the same. Neither of us you know, should be the same amount. Like I, I'm spent. gonna buy you a costume yeah. ring so that you can play with for a little bit. And nah, then. I might buy you a little nice, but not. It's not gonna be as nice as the first one I got you. Because you know, if your goal in life is to replace the fucking ring, is that's ridiculous. 
There's other shit you guys should be doing. If you're still paying rent and you don't have a fucking house and you're gonna go spend no, another five, ten years. Yeah, 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 yeah but I'm not talking about that. I'm now. talking about like, yo, if you have it, you know. What do you guys feel it? about tat doing the tattoo ring? Right. Like I noticed a lot of no, basketball, like Steph Curry does it. His is uh, his wedding band is tattooed on him. So when he takes his band right. off, and less expensive. And then I think, it's and then I think, it's yes. permanent. And you won't lose it. And buy another one. Tattoo my name, baby. Yeah, tap me too. But the, you're, you're you're with that? It's just the ring. Is you no, don't think that's like super simpy? It's no initial, right? No. Why is that simpy? Put me on you, baby. For marriage, bro, that's life. Why would I be simpy? Facts. But there's you can't no, say simpy in the word of marriage. And what? There's no initial, right? Like well, he has her initials. Nah, under. I, can't, I can't do that. So initial. it's the ring like uh, this, and then marriage. I think her initials. I don't know. The, you know how the divorce rate is so high, bro. So I'm don't not get married. No, I'm not married. Get it? Un- get it undone. Laser. Laser. And then what? Put, and then you get married again, and then put a new initial. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Well, you guys are crazy. Get out. I'm not. So if you're telling, if you're saying I, yes, I, I really, I really tap my name on you, baby. Are you doing the same? Hundred percent. So you would tap somebody? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Tap my name on it so I know it's now, now. Cover it up. You can laser it. So now like, where? Anywhere. Where you want even, it. Even, even, even if it's a visit. Like, not like, on the face. I'm not, not, we're neck? not Sean over here. But like, or the neck. No, absolutely not. No, my That's face is So it would be no. neck down. It'd be on the, on either, the either like, like somewhere like normal. On the toto? I mean, why not? Like if it's your, I mean... Why not? If it's, I mean, the, you guys are married. You guys are. It's like the only person seeing it is that person anyway. So I mean, who cares? That must be super painful. I'll go back to the ring. Pain. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. That is. Did you actually? Did you see the video of the tattoo artist doing a, a total tattoo and the girl? That's only on your front the, the girl kept <laughs> fucking squirting. Yeah. Like the tattoo artist kept having to back up. Yeah, you're and on shit the like wrong that. For you page, bro. Fact, that's on your. Front that's page. porn. What are you watching? Yeah, that porn. Wasn't really, that yeah. was a fake tattoo. That was, yeah, that was. Yeah. That was a scene. Next. What was the scene's name? <laughs> next, next that shit was fake. That's crazy. <laughs> next, next, was next it was definitely the, I'll show you the video. I gotta find it. I haven't seen it in a long He's time. Best tattoo funny. parlor gets soaked. <laughs> That's crazy. Next question. Listen, can you guys date someone with no tongue game? Like, yeah. like their tongue doesn't come out. So like the making out vibes, there's no tongue action. Tongue doesn't come out, so the dick sucking vibes is not valid. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Have you made out with someone that has no tongue? Like, shit don't like, even come out their mouth? I mean, I can kiss you without having tongue in my mouth. You can, can still you kiss know? sexually without tongue in the mouth. You can peck her. You can't kiss her. You can... You don't, you don't suck on lips? You don't... That's all... Cause he, he doesn't let girls do anything. So I don't even know why I'm asking you. How about you, buddy? I hate you so much. Like I said, <laughs> I'll eat her out for four hours. I don't need her tongue. No love, love, love could be blind. So I just feel like that's what I'm saying. I feel like, so you can love someone with no tongue. I feel like yo, when you're in love, bro. You, wait, wait, you, wait, wait, wait. But how you fall in love without kissing somebody? Oh, that is true. Maybe just a vibe. Remember. You gonna vibe with somebody and, and fall in love with them without kissing them ever? Yeah. No. Come you, on, let's be realistic. Not ever. Let's be realistic. Not ever. You ain't never. Not you ain't ever. ever. Then you would know early on that there was no like there was no tongue. You would know early on. Yeah, you mean yeah. to tell you mean to tell me you never fell in love with somebody that without doing anything sexual? Oh, you ever fell in love with somebody that can't really kiss that? No, I haven't. No, I'm not saying suck at kissing because you can learn how to kiss. But that's that's my point, bro. That's my point. I, I've never fell in love with somebody that I, I haven't point? kissed. That's my no. point. Love is blind, bro. Sometimes you just you kiss. have. Yeah, I'm also. <laughs> I have, I have, I fell in love with someone that I didn't Man. kiss before. What up? But that's my they point. Didn't kiss? <laughs> we didn't kiss. No, I mean, grade? So, yeah, no, like, we're, we're, talking, we're, we're talking no, about we're, adult, like no, after we're, eighteen. We're, not, like we're well, not talking no, about. No, we're in high. We're in high school. We're not talking. You okay, see, no, so we're talking about like, no, we're talking about when no, you're actually you in the adult. Love someone fat ass. You were, you were in high school. That's not even. But back to my point. But love is so blind that you might think that person could kiss just because you're in love so blindly. That shit happens. How you fall in love with somebody before you kiss? Like. But you, just the vibe. You, you can you, right. you heard the man next okay, to me. Okay, yeah. what if what if what if she can't kiss? But I mean, the the box is say, Niagara you Falls. Guys have sex like on the what? First night? You mean to tell no, me you, you're was, gonna he take? He said he can't date unless that, they have sex. No, that wasn't me. That was I, that I, was I, your I, ex. I have the clip. Yo, I have the clip. Look at how I have the clip. I have the clip. That was your ex. Trust me. You got mad emotional just now. That was your ex. Yeah, because he puts the blame on me every time. It wasn't. It was me solely saying that. That you had to date for a month or two. You said you're not gonna you're gonna date before having sex. No, that was you said that. That oh, was her. Listen, I got the quote. I got, I she got, said it. She said you need a. We'll find time. it. We'll end this on a, on, a, on another on another time. We'll oh, look right. for it. I'll, but I'll anyway, I look at this give and take. First of all, you either gonna get 
Boobs or you're gonna get ass? Are you gonna get ass or you're gonna get boobs? It's very rare you find a girl that has both. That's right? Like you sacrifice kiss. one for Most the other. So she can't kiss, but what if the box is fire? I'll take that. How are you gonna find out about the box if you. <laughs> you don't have to. Bro. Do you not know the bases? There's first base, second base, third base? Are you, are you no. Over the kill? Bro, good. how many times have you skipped? Uh, you didn't say here and tell me that nobody's ever skipped first base. That every single person grand slam. that, you, that you want to be your girl? I think I'm sitting on the correct <laughs> side of the room today. You are, because we, we do this all the time. We are in agreement. We're in agreement? <laughs> I'm in agreement with this guy. Facts. Yo, really? so you're like skipping, that. kissing, fucking the box is fire. How do you know the box is fire and you haven't even kissed her yet? You never had a one night stand. How you get horny off no tonguing? But you're saying pets? how can you fall in love? So you're talking about one night stand. You can't. You're not you putting fall. them in the same. But you're not. So you can't. You can't fall in love by, with a one night stand. Can you? I'm asking you. Have you? I'm asking you. Have you? I have it, but I'm asking she you. Can, I think you can. If she's a one night stand, is a one night stand. Sometimes, sometimes the it's definition not. of a one night stand. But if you have sex with someone yes. on the first night, you can. But then you kind of realize that she had sex with a hundred other people on the first night, and you're like. Mm, is she really committed? That's not. What if she didn't? Block. What if she's dated one dude her whole life, just she, got out of a relationship? Like, so you're gonna sit there, you wanna be her word, master splinter and just teach her, teach her the ways? You're gonna teach her how? What do you mean? I feel like I feel like. But the box in relationships is always yeah. teaching. So I'm saying this. No, so and, and, teach and, her everything and, else. And relationships is always teaching. Some some people. That, there's a guy out there who doesn't do this specific move or position that you like. There's a girl out there that doesn't do this specific move or position that you like. like. And then like that, as you yeah. get as you get to know each other more and more, they, they start to form to you. And, you know, you guys start to, you know. <laughs> Afuera. You like that word? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> you ain't never taught nobody something? Like, yeah. Yeah, I taught people Do something. that shit that I taught you. Do that shit that I like. But I told you, do you say my girl, my, la my last girl used to do this? Or no, do you, you like. You never say that. No. You never, you never say, say nothing about, you just say, hey, I like it when, when you know, do this. That's or, a red flag. Or, but in their head, they're like, oh, how many girls have done this to them? If I you're still, want, talking, I if you're still talking about like an ex like that, that's a red flag. Now, if you lick her, your, like she licks your ear and, and you're like, oh my God, no one's ever done that. That's like, ooh, now I'm doing something new. But if you're like, yeah, lick my left ball sack only. I only like my left ball sack licked. A hundred other girls lick that left ball sack. And she's like, ew. Like, but how about if a hundred girls lick? I'm doing the right one. How about, yeah, exactly. How about if a hundred girls lick? The I'm marrying her. If she thinks that way, I'm licking the right one. And I'm going to make you like the right ball sack. That's crazy. Balls. I was yeah. talking about my position. I'm not in the footsteps of those women. But. I had one of my boys yesterday tell me, it was crazy. He caught me so off guard. But he told me that he, uh, he tried the thumb in the butt thing. And that he actually liked it. Oh, he Wait. got the thumb in the butt? He got the I thumb. thought it was for girls. That was she, she, she put the thumb in oh. his butt. Yeah, bro, I don't... And he actually liked it. I did it once. I got slapped away. And I did it once when she was drunk. And she said... I said, whoa! This shit's valid like that? Okay. Yeah, this is bro. true. The song is right. I you can't. just have to be a little, a little bit of liquor in the, in the system. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> That's not crazy? And this is why the society follows him. Listen, would you guys... If you guys had a time machine... Do you guys go to the future or would you guys go to the past? Ooh. Oh, that's rough. That's a good, that's a good question. A really good one. Future. I'm sorry, the past. Yeah, no, nah, I would go to the past. past. How would you go future past? What are you doing? Past. She thought about it she after. Thought about it no, no, I said the right one. And what would you guys do in the past? Um. Correct. Yeah, I, I, would, I would say past as well. I wouldn't. Because I'm not mad at how things turned out. I feel like a lot of things turned out the way they were supposed to. For our I would just or this generation I'll, right now? No, no, I'm talking about for me personally. Okay. I'm saying I would probably um, be smarter in the sense of like, you know, all those birthdays and Christmases that you got cards full of cash. Like, I would make sure that my capital by the time I graduated was was up there. Like, I would be a little bit like smarter. You spend all your money at Domino's? Yeah, I and mean, I wouldn't, you know, eat Chef Ho or Best Chinese every day and I've had best buy Chinese Xbox and, and I had an NBA jersey. Oh, I had an NBA jersey like fetish throughout like middle school. And I had, like I bought real ones, real ones. Oh, so they were all like yeah. really expensive. Fuck not. I was literally like I had Red, when Reggie Bush got drafted for that and then if I had his jersey, Tracy McGrady for Orlando. Oh, thank you. I like I bugged out. You realize it. Uh, I would do it. So the only thing I would change is just how I maneuvered investing wise. So That's I'd cool. go back for that. Mine's mine's a little bit more emotional. I think I would go See into your past. dad? No, go in the past oh. and actually uh spend time with my grandma. Cause she died when I was so young. So and now I hear other people being like, yo, grandparents are like 
Golden. Super, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. So I didn't get that. Okay. So I seen like glimpse, and I remember glimpse of her, but like I never fully like, you know what I'm saying. So that's that would be my answer. My grandparents are great grandparents, which is great. And she, that's what I'm saying. So I, my girlfriend, wait, she has. You said your grandparents are, are now great great grandparents. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah, your brother had a so kid. That's, so that's, that's so special. Dope. Yeah, that's so dope. My kids got my my grandfather on my mom's side and my grandmother on my dad's side. My kids all met. And had a really my grandfather fire. lived with me, so my grandfather lived with me the last six years of his life. He had Alzheimer's, so he lived at home with me. So my like my grandkids, my kids had an opportunity to really be super close to my. They lived with my grandfather. He was my fourth kid. Was he? Home. Was he? Um, when he when he caught the Alzheimer's, was he still aware that those were his great grandkids? Uh, for the he? first couple of years, and then after he didn't know who we were, it, like you would ask, he, they would ask like, "Who am I, King Yeah. Like he knew that I was in charge, but he didn't know who I was. Mm. But he couldn't. But then how, you would how hard was that? And would, so it was really hard because you would mourn them twice. So you mourn them, you know, when they lose everything, they don't remember who you are. But then they, you could put like I could put Mexican like Mexican music. He loved Mexican music, Puerto Rican, but he loved Mexican. Music. You would put it, and he could sing word for word okay. those songs. But he didn't know who I was. But he knew that you were whatever. But then when it came time for him to come home for hospice. He knew exactly who I was. Like he even knew my mom was his daughter at one point. Like he literally like came home and I remember like my mom. He said to my mom, "Too my mommy and I will call me." But my grandma's been passed away for the thirty years. And my mom was like, "You know, I think she is. She's coming home. She's coming to pick you up." Yeah. It was weird. It was like, and he gave us that moment at the end, and yeah. he actually thanked me. I was changing him and bathing him and getting him ready for the bed because we decided to bring him home for yeah. his last couple of days. And uh, what we thought, well, we thought it would last a few months, but it actually was just a few days. And um, I remember he gave me that. He was like, you know, thank you. Like in Spanish, he had told me like, thank you so much for 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 taking care, such good care of me, and you're all, you're always there for me and whatever. And and it was while I was actually taking care of him, he told yeah. me that, and it was like he had this lucid moment, like right before. Yeah, that's deep. Like he passed, but it was cool yeah. though because my kids were able to be there from you know for for those six years and really like got, get to know who Abuelo was and go lay in his bed and go sing songs to him and. You know, know that and he became like a kid like them. Oh, yeah, yeah, so crazy. he loved doing like little activities. Isn't stuff. it funny how life I'm getting comes, for all four of them, you know? Life comes full circle. circle. You yeah, start off crazy. as a baby, you get older, but then it seems a lot in your final years, even though you're not a baby anymore, it's almost like you are because like I remember tying, putting on and tying my great grandfather's I was nineteen, I went to go visit him. My great grandmother had just passed away. I was nineteen years old. And I went to go see him, and I was literally putting on his shoes and tying his shoes. And it's kind of like weird how full. Like I do that for my son, who's two. Yeah, it's crazy. So it makes you. It makes you like like it almost makes you feel like bad and stuff too at the same time. Because it's like, all right, here I am bathing my grandfather, but like this man taught me how to drive. It's crazy. Like, this man was another That's man. About, like he taught me how to drive. My grandfather was. It makes you. It, it makes you say. Seen. At least for me, it makes you say like, I kind of don't want to live that long. No. Like it's as selfish, to to as no, selfish no. as selfish as it sounds, like, but I'm like, I just that. knowing how, like I'm thinking about myself in my athletic days and how I just maneuver, like to not even be able to like bathe my, or put my shoe on. Like I, think I couldn't live like that. The understanding from the other party is helpful too. Like, you know, when I started knowing that I had to help him bathe, it was like, all right, we're going to get you done to your underwears. So I would literally have him shower with his, with his boxers on and I would wash his back and stuff. And then I would leave, and I'd be like, okay, you do your other privates and stuff. Like, you do that. So that I would give him his dignity until, like, then he didn't realize it anymore. And then it became like, all right, now I have to go in there and help you out. So it was like, in the beginning, to, like, help him kind of go through the transition because they're still lucid enough to know what's happening and stuff. So it was like, all right, I'm going to wash your back, all right? Let me get your back, all right? Because you can't reach back there. Your back hurts, whatever. I'm going to get back there and sit him on the... He, we had a, a chair in the in the shower, and it was like, all right, let me... Okay, I'm going to get your feet. I'm going to get all these other spots. You go ahead and, and I'm going to let you finish that part. And then until he got to the point where he couldn't do that part anymore, it was like he didn't really care. But it was like, it's tough Like when you have to like do that for somebody who was your, they, they taught you how to my drive, great, they taught my, you how to do all these my things. My great-grandfather started, he like, once my grandmother, my great-grandmother passed away, he started like going downhill fast. Like fast. Oh, it was yeah. quick. He quick. was, I mean, when I went to go see him for that funeral, like, we went to the bar. He pounded down, like, beer. Like, he was still youthful. For Now, this is a guy in his mid-late 80s, youthful. Like, still driving, still doing his thing. When I went back to go see him now, like, 22-ish, 23, it, like, downhill fat. Like, everything. 
it got so bad to the point where they had to force him to leave his home in Puerto Rico and move him to New York where my great uncles are at and stuff like that, his sons, so they could take better care of him and stuff like that. But he was cussing me one day, yelling at me. And then after he's done yelling, like he's just, you know, like you're so hard headed, Julio. And I realized he's, he just called me my grandfather's name. Mm. He was yelling at me. I was confused. Thinking, yeah. He was yelling at me for something my grandfather right, did. Do you guys, um, I'm like, yo, he, him. he thinks I'm my grandfather him right you. now. I do was you, just like, do you guys believe that you guys like signs or like that you're going to die like a certain day? Like when your death is coming close, do you think you could feel it? Absolutely. I, I think just because, like, what I just went through, like, with my grandfather, like, like I said, like, he, it was, like, a Wednesday, right? Like, he was fine, and all of, and he, he was going, he went to a day program, and it was, like, all of a sudden, like, he didn't want to, like, go. And I used to, like, I was, I was smacking him on the butt. I'm like, bah, 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 didn't get back to the he used to call it work, the day program. <laughs> and they called him from the day program, and they were like, he's literally, he's really tired, and he doesn't want to move from his chair. So my mom ended up taking him to the hospital straight from the, from there. We brought him to the hospital. We called his neurologist, and, like, hey, like, you know, is this, we didn't know what it was. Is this signs of end of life? End of life for Alzheimer's is just that they're just tired. They're just, they're just tired. They're just done. And so we took him off all his meds. He was already here when he had heart problems. He had meds for like all kinds of stuff. His heart was already working at like 25% and all this other stuff. So we took him off all meds and we made the decision as a family to take him off of, you know, all meds and bring him home for comfort measures and let him pass at home what we thought would be months. But when we got home, like I said, he literally said to my mom, to my mom, which means, you know, is, my, is your mom coming to grab, get me? Damn, that but shit gives mom, me chills. Yeah, he literally said that to my mom. Like, as soon as he got home, we were putting him in bed and stuff. And is your mom coming to pick me up? And and my grandma's been dead for 30 years. And, and she was like, yeah, I think she is. And it was like he kind of gave her, like, he knew he mm. was going. And he was able to, to talk. Because shortly after that, and he knew that was so he knew that was his daughter. He knew and he that knew, was his daughter because he said to mama. And remember, yeah. he didn't know no, who she was for that. at least yeah. a year. A year. I mean, you know, probably like a year or two that my grandfather didn't know whatever that who you know who she was. Like I was just looking at my Snapchat yesterday, and actually this morning, like around midnight. Today was the last day. Six years ago was the last time he ever went to the beach. And like my grandfather loved the beach. Like he grew up in Puerto Rico. He loved it. He could swim like a fish. And the last time I was able to take him, he couldn't even. Kind of get in the water. Like, I had to hold him in the... We were in my... I had taken him to Miami. He was over there trying to look at all the ladies and stuff, too. But, you know, it was... Um, he... he gave, I think they know because he kind of gave that moment when he really didn't know who we were. And he gave that moment to me privately. And he gave that moment to my mom, you know, privately as well. And I think that they do know. Like, and, and it was... It wasn't until my grandpa had seen some peace and saw, like, his, his, his daughters there, like, together... You know, for him, and we were all in the room, and we were all there together, and he and he let go, and he and it was like, you know, they told him like, you know, we're we're good, you know, we're 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 uh, we're good, and you're gonna be good, and and I think that they, I think they did. Dana, Dana White, um, I seen him on a podcast. I seen that. Said um, there's a guy he works for an insurance company, and for life insurance and stuff like that, and he he's unbelievable with it. He's predicting how long if you continue. On your daily living, the way you're going, he gives you an exact, like, number of years that you have left to live. Like, he had told Dana White his is, like, 10.4. Yeah. So Dana's like, I got to change how I'm eating, living, drinking, whatever, because 10.4, that's really not that many years. Especially for a guy that young, you got all that damn money. You own, what, the UFC? Like, bro, that's, that's kind of crazy. But I guess his ratio was, like, so he dictates, like, what you pay for life insurance, whether you get it or not. I think that's pretty you crazy. You guys have a certain age in life that you guys want to hit, like a goal? Like, I want to be a great-grandparent, like we were just talking about. I but just, do you guys have any, like, goals? I just, I feel like it depends on how, like, I am doing, you know? Because mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I'm becoming, and I feel like I'm becoming a bother to, like, the people I love, I wouldn't want that for them. So, I don't think it's a bother, though. No, I know. Like, I, I, know people, what, I, mean, you know what I, I know what you mean, they, but, like, it's, it might not be, it's not a bother. It was an honor no, to I be know, able exactly. to, like, take but care of my grandfather. Maybe for your grandfather. have, like, that... One daughter or one granddaughter that was like the best, and they're stuck with the grandpa and the other ten kids. They don't even come visit, and yeah, then she had sick. to waste her last five, ten years. Taking okay, care. so that but see, but you got to retract yeah, that yeah, because yeah, you could say that that would have been me, right? Because mm -hmm. no, no, she was, said that. She said I wasted my last five, ten years, and he had ten so other there's, kids. There's That's somebody that there's some that may do that, but on me, nobody could take that from me. Okay, like there's not one person in my whole entire family. That can take that from me. I did that. I did that with my grandfather. My mom. My mom lives upstairs for me. That's dope. With my mom helping me, and it was an honor to be able to give back to my grandfather. So for some, it may be an inconvenience, 
Well, yes, some days are harder. I mean, my kids are an inconvenience to me some days. You know what I mean? Like, no, and fat. he was like my fourth kid. So like, yeah, some days may be may be inconvenient, but I never saw him as an actual inconvenience. And I feel like as long as I, like that person, like they saw it as an inconvenience, but I saw it as an honor. And then it's an honor that not one person in my family, not any of my aunts that I don't claim, and not any of my my cousins that I don't claim, no, like none of them could could. Y'all don't got that on me, ever. I like that. Oh. That's, that's real shit. That's now, I would, to answer your question, I would say for as long as I'm healthy and I can function as a yeah. somewhat normal being. So I don't have a set age, like, oh, I want to live here. Because I don't know what I'm going to feel like or be like at 60 or 70 or 80. I, like I see a not, lot of... I, I see a lot of... I would love six, that. Seven, I, would, I would love that Even great... If I can't move, you know what I mean? But if, like, I'm 90, <laughs> if I'm 99 and I'm still able to get up and hug my kids and know who my family is, yeah. like, shit, I'll live till 99. Okay. Yeah. But if I'm struggling, like... Lay in bed all day. Laying in bed all day, yeah. can't put my shoe like. Eh, I don't know if I really want to live like that. And then, and then did a four. The one, one of my, you know, my great moving? grandfather. That's, like, that's crazy. Well, yeah, she moved to one. one. And then, huh? how how long? Like, when did she stop like moving? It's, I remember her killing a chicken as an adult. When I was yeah, man, took the chicken. Took the head. I think that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. But I think she I think, lived I think off the her. She, remember they. I was gonna, I was gonna say part of it too is that they. I noticed they live. Way healthier than us. Yes. Like my great, what, uh, my right. great aunts and great uncles and great grandparents, all are outliving. Like my great grandfather outlived my grandfather and his brother. He got five boys and he outlived two out of the five. He was from the countryside, right? Eating and my food. oh yeah, my great grandfather yeah, never left own. PR. You know, and these and they all moved. All five of the sons moved to New York. They all live in Brooklyn or Queens. So, I think they. You know, you, you eat unhealthier here. There's less sun here. That's I don't care Air. what people say. That's sun, sun, sun. Yeah, but you need that, that vitamin D. Yeah, but that because, energy. I mean, even my, my dad's dad, he doesn't live healthy at all. Like, the dude's been drinking since I don't even, I can't even tell you how long. But Look at the path you're on. Just like your grandfather. <laughs> oh, <every day. laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, next question. <laughs> I got one to end it. I guess I got to move. I guess I, I guess I got to move to Puerto Rico or Atlanta to, you know, keep Make that sun. Make your own pitorro and be healthier for Facts. you. <laughs> Facts. I'm going to be in the field with, the, with my grandfather. Yeah. Yeah, one, and, one then we, end, yeah. and then we end it like we did. Well, you did last yep. time, man. Yeah. So who is one person that saved your life that doesn't know saved your life? Ooh, that, bro, oh, I, let me answer that first because I was actually just thinking about this. Um, I think my dad saved my life. But not being in the picture. Him not being there, bro, made me the person I am today. You know, like, I'm just trying to be the best dad I can because of him. You know, me feeling that, me having games or me having, playing baseball, basketball, whatever I played, and him not being there, I'm like, yo, I never want my daughter or my kids to feel like that. So, shout out to Pops for being the Pops he was. Or wasn't. Exactly. Mm. You ready? You ready? I'm not ready. Uh, uh, like I said, my cousin's daughter, like a year ago, I was locked up in my room making videos for months. Didn't talk to no one. Didn't go out. Didn't talk to anybody. Didn't do anything but make videos, make videos, make videos. Stuck in the room in the corner in my little cubicle. And in a family trip, maybe vacation, she gave me a nice big hug. And I looked at her. I was like, like a robot. Like I, I was like, I don't, I don't even know what this is. Like I don't know what this feeling is going on right now. And then I was like, shit, like, I need to start chilling with family more. I need to start chilling with people more. I need to go out more, hang out with a lot more people. That, that hug? That hug. Just the hug, the feeling of the hug. Like, I didn't have a hug for months, and I forgot what a hug was. So now in public, like, even people that don't want to be touched, I fucking strangle them and be like, yo, you need, you need a hug. <laughs> a lot of people need hugs out there, so give a lot of hugs. Mm. Ready? I think there's a lady right yeah, up the street I'll over say. there on, on, over there on Grafton Street in the Rotary. She be, I think she gives free hugs. The, the, the lady, one? the lady who we put in the smile yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah. I seen her. I seen her the other day. She be bugging sometimes though. Screaming in the windows, right? <laughs> yeah, but she last time she had the egg. She was she like, "You want me to move. mix your eggs?" And I was like, "Yeah." She be like saying things. And I'm like, "Damn, she, what she said? She said something crazy to me too." And I was shout like, out "To her, yeah." Shout out to her though. But she um, does make me smile. No, yeah, she does. Sides. She does. Yeah. But yeah, shout out to her. Then I get confused though because I don't know if she's like looking for money or she just really. I know she looking for money too, but she's like, "God bless you, I love you." I said, "Okay." My mom said the same thing. She like, she asked me for money because my mom's like very nice. She said, "Oh, I'll give." I'm like, "No, I don't think she's asking." That's why I get confused. I'm like, I kind of like pay attention and I'm like, why don't we like? I'm smiling, but then at the same time, like I'm smiling. I gotta give you money, like I, you know. My corners, I'm waiting. 
I would say, uh, it's for me. It's two people. It's my aunt, and my uncle, my my uncle Irv and my aunt Rosie. Um, I love them. Shout and, out to aunt Rosie and and I would say that because growing up, um, my dad was like super busy. He's trying to. He's like trying to climb the ranks of becoming a world champion. Um, we spent as much time as we could together, but he wasn't able to really um, solely focus on what I had going on as I'm going through the years of elementary school and middle school. You know, like, I remember there was a time period where, like, my dad stopped asking me if I even had homework. Like, he was just so consumed in the gym, and he was physically, like, his way of spending time with me was bringing me to the gym, and we're next to each other. We're in the same room together, you know. We're, and at nighttime, we'll watch our sports together. And it was like, because he knew that, you know, the last few hours we spent it in the gym. So at home, instead of asking me how was school, did I do my homework, whatever, we just sat on the couch. So I was getting away with a lot, which as a young kid, you know, somebody give you an inch, you're going to start yeah, taking a mile. And um, when my dad had went through a, a divorce, my aunt and my uncle opened up their home for us and, and we stayed there and it was the first time in my life because my parents were divorced Monday with mom Tuesday with dad Wednesday with mom Thursday with dad every other week but for the first time in my life for those middle school years I felt like I had a home like this was my stable home and it did a lot for me I had stayed back in seventh grade so then I did seventh grade over but that's when I lived with her and I felt like I got through middle school because of her because she was I remember I was running video games all summer and she was like hey where's your summer reading at and my dad's like you got summer reading and I'm like and I, in the moment you know you're young I hated her for it I'm like shit now I gotta read three books in like three weeks mm -hmm. school's about to start but like if it wasn't for her giving me that structure giving me you know I started washing dishes I started you know taking care of certain things and it was just they, they provided me with that second parent you know that so i would say hugely them two for giving me that waiting on you my turn you give me enough time sounds cliche um but my kids um my mm. kids have, have been like a why and a driving force of me like wanting to do good in business and just good for myself and if i'm doing good for myself then i'm doing good for my kids as well um i went through a divorce at the same time i went through divorce i lost my job in the same month um, and I think that, you know, as much as people don't oh, my kids say my life, no, like my kids actually really did say my life because I could have went and just went under and I decided to take what I had Boss and up. use it to my power. Feel um, it. and, and, you know, what am I going to do for my kids? Like, what am I going to do for them? And, um, it was to be the best co-parent that I could be. Um, shout out to all the, the people who don't have drama and, Every now, okay, don't have drama, you know, in general. And um, granted, you could still have discussions and heated, whatever. But, um, you know, learning how to co-parent for them, um, and learning how to how to maneuver yourself like um, like a boss and teach your kids that there's more to life. Um, I feel like it forced me to learn how to sell plates so I can have extra money and not be forced to, you know, be a product of the system. Um, and you know when I, I took I took a step back and I was like all right what's what do I do what's what's consistent what have I always done I don't want to do healthcare anymore and I lost my healthcare job and it was like you know I'm gonna go to hospitality so I went to high so I went to college so I, while I was in college you know I, I learned that again I got my degree 18 credits a semester two semesters in a row um, selling plates of food on Fridays and that's how I built my clientele before I actually got started and became this like business person what what. At some point, I got just as busy as your dad did, you know, just bringing them to the restaurant and whatever. Like, I like so that's why, like, even taking this step back is like a, is huge for me because my kids have been at the restaurant for hours on end, but I wouldn't see them. They order whatever food they wanted on, under my name and take their food and go back upstairs. And it was that was my quality time with them, but it really wasn't. So, like, you know, there you have it, like, what that kid actually goes through. And so, like, me being able to take my power back. Um, with like even just closing the restaurant, like you know, opening it up kind of for them, but at the same time closing it up for for also them as well. Um, you know, part of my reasoning and stuff, and to kind of give them that power back and be able to go do things with them and pay more attention to them and what they're going through. And 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 life isn't as easy as when we were kids. When we were teenagers, mm -hmm. things was easy. When I was a teenager, because I'm older than all y'all, so you know, well then like you guys, like me, AJ, we're closer, but. 
you know, <laughs> you know, being easy. able to kind of go through through that, you know, like when we were younger, it was a lot easier. There wasn't social media. There wasn't, you know, these these apps and all the rest of this stuff or whatever. And so it's so much harder. Um, so being able to be more involved um, in their life and stuff. So like they're they've they've saved my life in more than one way, um, and they continue to do so because they're my focus. So me being able to keep them as my focus has helped me have them continue to save my life because you know I'm gonna keep pushing forward. And doing the most for them, and I'm never gonna actually give up. I'm gonna just continue to create and build a legacy for them because mm. they've they've given me that. I feel like I feel like a lot of people don't realize that sometimes addition is subtracting. I'm adding to my life by taking something out, whether it's a person, whether it's the job you were oh, working at. Children. Some people might look at it like, "Oh, I lost my." No, you didn't lose your job. You just God had a better plan for you. This, like this he knew this wasn't gonna work like out. Shot, and then bro. before you know it, yeah. the next job that you have is way better more, than the last hours, job. More better out. Like, yep. So that's what people don't. They don't get that part. And we're gonna end it like we did last week. Um, lesson or a blessing. A lesson or a blessing that you learned this week. I'm already ready. You already ready? Start I'm with ready you. too. Lesson. Oh, you guys want to start over there? She's ready. Yeah. You want to start first? Ladies first. Yep. Yeah. Ladies first. Uh, uh, lesson. Lesson. Time. This week. This week. This is, a, this is, a, this is a, a crazy week for me. Probably one of the biggest weeks of my life. Um, lesson. A lesson learned. Um, people who say they're for you, they're not really for you. Um, lesson learned. I don't have as many friends as I thought I did. I don't have as many family members as I thought I did. Mm-hmm. Blood don't mean shit. And um, yeah, friendship no. don't mean shit either. And... Um, yeah. Lesson, uh, blessing that I learned is that um, there are people who you, who will come. There are people that will come out of the woodworks and and bless you. There are strangers that are out there rooting for you. Um, there are strangers that are um, want the best for you um, that you have been blinded to. So lesson this week would be um, the amount of love that I actually uh, didn't realize that I actually had. Um, those would be my lessons this this particular week. Uh, blessings I'm going to go with. I set up my life to make a lot of money this summer. So this week just started, you know, some flow of income. So that's going to be a blessing. Thank God. It's hey. a new month. And the uh, lesson is social media can make or break you. You know, you can make money off it. You can go viral. You can be famous. But at the same time, you can disappear into the social media life, into your room, and not really chill with people like we're doing here on the podcast for social media but the podcast situation here with a group of people is completely different than doing a podcast by yourself or maybe um i'm gonna go blessing for me i'm gonna go you know it was raining all week but then there was what two nice days if i'm not mistaken so we did like a cookout for both of those days and uh when you sit back you're having a you know like a cold drink and you look around and the whole family's talking laughing smiling whatever you see the kids jumping in the trampoline, and you're like, yo, life is good. Yep. So. Yeah, mine is a little bit of both, lesson and blessing. Um, I feel like growing up, I had a bunch of cousins that were very close to my age. I have fucking aunts close to my age, like literally like three, four years apart from, like it's, it's crazy. So I didn't really have an older person that was still young that I, advice, go to, you know, somebody to like really look up to. Everyone was like either an adult or my age. There was no really like... In between, and I feel like right now I'm in a blessed position where I have cousins that are so much younger than me. I have siblings that are far, but I'm, they still look at me as young. Um, and I only say this because I had um, my girl's nephew, who's like six or seven, but I've been in his life since he was like six months old. He stayed at my crib for the week, and it was to kind of like give him um, that fun place to just be like get away from home and stuff like that and um i just uh, thinking about it my lesson behind that would be like be that person for these kids that you kind of wish you had you know he was like little simple he asked me at like 10 30 at night can i have a pop tart yep go ahead you know i didn't want to be that strict like no no junk food i was like yep go ahead but even from from my sister like i had to send her a text like yo you know anytime you want to stay over i got you you know you're good here like just because you, you never had that. So I feel like um, the blessing is just being in a position to bless others. Mm. Like, that. Like, that. like that. Like that. Like that.